Hello, everybody. We are here celebrating something wonderful, something beautiful. Yes, indeed, that is Zendikar MF Rising. Uh, we've got some cards revealed, and let me tell you. Whoa, whoops. Woof. They're going to be hot. Uh, we're going to be opening some, some cards on stream. Um, and to help me, I actually have live in person my beautiful wife. You can bring the chair over if you, if you need it. Uh, on the Shuffle Master set herself, <laughs> Susie MF. Bert, this was, really wasn't made for two people, so it might be a little cramped. It's Susie! Hey, stream. <laughs> She's going to be blessing some packs, baby. What are we what are we blessing today? Well, we've got these. We have count them, baby. One, two, three, four. That's backwards. Four and eight double masters VIP boosters, and also a Corey as a collector's booster box, and then finally a little Urza Saga tournament pack. How cute is that? That's a lot. So this is a lot to, to bless for your powers. So will you will you do the honors? Susie? Yeah. Well, tell me tell me a little bit about these packs and like what you want from them. Double Masters is all about force of will. Okay. Um, force of will, force of will, force of will. It is a ridiculously card. Also the swords. I'm into the swords. Yeah. I'll take the swords. Um, and then this 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 pack right here, Urza Saga, the tournament pack. Um, that is all about Gaia's Cradle. Um, or Sarah's Sanctum, which is like an angel land. Wow. Um, and then this is all about Ghidorah and Mothra from Godzilla. And these can all be mixed and matched. Uh, as in? Like you can play like old cards and new cards. Oh, sure, in certain sense. formats, yeah. In certain formats? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me switch it over to the, oh, that's really. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to, I mean, I got to be honest with you, like the, this box is definitely calling to whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, like, okay, that's really good. There's a lot of value in that box. Yeah, this one's, it's got my attention. So I'm going to go ahead and channel some good energy in there because you guys know we had a full moon recently. Oh, last that's night. right. So like, I'm going to go ahead and just. Oh, oh my oh, god! Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. wow, I didn't huh. touch that card deck. It fell off on its own. Whoa, that, that was the power. power. That was the power. That was amazing. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and bless these ones. Okay. So, yes, I'm in transfusing my good vibes directly into them. That's really something. And, wow. I like him. He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, okay. One of these is way more powerful than the others, and Whoa. I don't want to tell you which one because then everyone's going to be like excited for that one, and then they'll leave after you open that one. Oh, snap. But one of these is more powerful. Okay, than adding a little this mystery box to is it. is mysterious. Mysterious? Yes. Some mysterious energy going on here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I have blessed. Um, can I do anything else for you today? Just wish me luck, I guess. Good luck to and, you. And have a good one yeah. until, I, until I stop streaming and then I see you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, have fun. And uh, hi, chat. I hope that you guys all have a great day opening cards together. And I hope you get all of the good ones. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Yeah, and I'll see you in a bit. She's not, she's not actually that much shorter than me. The, the chair <laughs> is like literally like a foot lower I to the ground. I am much shorter than you, though. Well, yeah, but You're not like... like this makes you look like way shorter. I'm five foot six and Aaron's six two. That's yeah. all you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron is, is taller. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move this chair so you can be freely amongst your friends. Thank you, babe. All right, have a good day. Hell yeah. Yo, we're gonna get some some mad pulls from these cards. I'm telling you right now. And this... watch out, let me know if one of those boxes is more powerful than the others. Ooh. I'm telling you. Okay, okay. One of these, one of these double masters boxes. Uh, one of these, she says is. It was the face last week. It was the face. Oh, yes. It was the face. Susie sensed, <laughs> Susie sensed the, the, what was his face? Molrath or whatever the hell his name was. The the damn legend that George Clooney or whatever, his fucking face kept pulling focus. Susie said yeah, that that, that was the reason that yeah. she got the power. Yeah. So once I told her that, she was like, oh, yes, that's what I saw, the face. That's, that's perfect. Thank you, babe. All right, have fun. Yes. Travolta legend. That's right. All right, we're here, baby. We're having. I'm trying to think of. Co okay, so I lied. I want everyone to know that I'm a dirty, dirty liar. I said that I have three cards to reveal. I fucking lied. 
I'm revealing four cards. Oh, oh my God, that's one more than last time. Can you believe it? Oh man, hold on, I brought a water for me to. <sighs> that's right, son, we got four cards. And so, okay, I didn't, I've been so busy setting this up ahead of time. So I'm actually thinking how I should do this. So reveal one, VIPs, reveal two, Ikoria, reveal three, Urza's, reveal four. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to start off the stream. Actually, all these cards are in the way of all my technology that I do to, to change the, the stuff. Um, I am going to reveal the first card right now, and they're going to ramp up in hypeness, all right? So the first one's going to be like, whatever, and the second one's going to be like, oh hell. The third one's going to be like, damn, and then the fourth one's going to be like, oh, snap! So I'm ramping it up. Uh, well, because the first one's a common, so that's that's all I'm saying. Oh, did I give it away? The first card that we are going to be revealing today. Are y'all ready for this? How many people are in this chat? A thousand billion? That's right. We are revealing card number one. It's the Juru Snare Caster. He's a three drop. That's two and a green for a one four with reach. And he's an elf rogue, which is important. And I don't know... I don't know how... Well, let's keep that on the screen for a little while. Um, oh, yeah, and I gotta send out the tweet, too. Uh, so, check this out. For those of you... Yeah, just go ahead and tweet that. Kaboom. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I don't know if this has been released or not, because I've been busy this morning, and I've been, like, in and out of meetings, and then setting this shit up, and just doing everything. So, uh, the new mechanic in Zendikar Rising is called Party. Um... So the idea behind party is, okay, everyone knows what the party mechanic is. So I'll just lay it out real quick. Um, so the party mechanic is basically, there are four card types that fall in the party mechanic, and they're all creatures. So it's a rogue, a warrior, a wizard, and fudge. And the other one. <laughs> cleric. Cleric. Got it. Rogue, wizard, warrior, and cleric. There's those those types make up a party, and your party is the specific size of each of one of them, right? So if you have a rogue and a cleric, then your party has two people in it. If 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 you have a rogue, a cleric, and a warrior, then it has three people in it. And it, and that's the party. If you have multiple warriors, it, it, they don't account. It's just one per, um, as, as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyway, there are effects that affect... Uh, people based on how many party members you have, et cetera, et cetera, and we'll get into that with one of the other reveals. So that is our first reveal today. It is Tajuru Snarecaster, and we're going to get some good pulls today. We're going to get some good GD pulls today. All right. How exciting is that, right? First card down, Tajuru Snarecaster. Let's take a look at that card again. <laughs> Tajuru Snarecaster. He's got reach, just FYI. He's got reach. All right. I just sent out that tweet. All right, let's 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 get rolling, baby. Maybe I should start with a Coria Collector's Boosters just because VIP Double Masters are pretty hype. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start with the Aquarius Collector's Booster. So let's bring it to the, bring it to the, take it to the bridge. It's uh, Justin Timberlake for you. Uh, how's everyone doing today? I am doing great. I'm feeling fancy, feeling free. Yeah, so let me say a little something about <laughs> Majora's Mask. So we we recorded Fall Guys like like pretty recently, um, and <laughs> I here. So I, we recorded Fall Guys pretty recently, and you know I sent it off to the team and was like, hey, just put this out as as soon as possible because Fall Guys is really big right now and. It, People are probably really hyped for us to see to see us play Fall Guys, um, and it was just kind of like, okay, we'll just put it up as soon as we're done editing. And then, as it turned out, it just happened to be when the Majora's Mask finale was gonna air. So, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, well, next time, <laughs> if there's gonna be a finale, maybe just air that first, and then so the finale is going up tomorrow. Um, so I apologize about that. <laughs> That's uh, that's my bad for not being super clear about the rules of 
maybe we should prioritize the finale that people have been waiting three years for as opposed to the episode of Fall Guys. So that's coming out tomorrow. But I hope people liked the Fall Guys episode. That was really fun. We did a couple of those. Um, Dan actually really likes it. He's he's he is, and I've and I've never heard him say this before. He is playing that in his own time, like at home. He is playing Fall Guys, so that's pretty hype. All right, got these collectors boosters. They're gonna mm, do they smell good? Mm. Oh God, why do I smell them? That's such a terrible idea. All right. Oh man. Okay, I forgot how to stream for a second. Uh, let's do some super chats before we start opening. Uh, Willie Brad, thank you. How is Susie so cute? You two are the best. I don't know, man, but I got lucky with that one. Um, Planet, hey Aaron, love Grumps, love Shuffle Master. These streams got me to start playing MTG Arena and buying cards. Good luck with your polls. Thank you, Planet, and I'm glad that my streams got you into MTG. The more players, the more fun I get to have. <laughs> it's all, it's all, it's all for my selfish goals to have more people to play Magic the Gathering with. Um, Natural Wizard, love you, Aaron. Would you and Dan consider playing more Cooking Mama for Game Grumps? I really enjoyed those episodes. Uh, I don't, I don't see why not. Didn't, didn't Cooking Mama like steal your data or whatever, or like mine Bitcoin on your computer or your phone or whatever? <laughs> Maybe we'll get the ones that don't do that. Uh, <laughs> Jill Brazelton, hey, happy Tuesday, Aaron and Susie. Love you guys. May the vibes from this pack be immaculate. Thank you, Jill, and I will tell Susie that you said hi as well. Said happy Tuesday, that is. Um, the vibes from these packs are going to be mwah, and Susie called out one of these packs to be a top pack, so we'll save those for, for uh, the end when we open those VIP boosters. Uh, Harriet, welcome back. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for the like on Twitter earlier. Looking forward to the new card reveals today. Hell yeah. Uh, the last one's pretty, pretty dope. Um, the cameo request is coming your way. Just need to think of ideas of what to ask. Have a great day. Thank you, Harriet. For those of you who are curious what she's talking about, I have a cameo account. It's cameo.com slash hello, I'm Aaron. You can, you can uh, pay to make me say anything you want on video, and I will do it, and I will do it proudly. It's, 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 pretty, it's one of the most fun things that I've been doing recently with my time. Uh, Squeegee, what's this? Eager after streaming on my birthday? Here, take some of my birthday money. Hope everything is well. Hey, happy birthday, Squeegee. Uh, that's great. And thank you. That's fine. The, uh, but you should use your money to buy yourself presents because it's your birthday. You should treat yourself. Um, Kara O Yoshi. Uh, hey, Aaron. What was your most excited this year? Zendikar? What has you most excited this year? Zendikar, Vikings, the set, Harry Potter, the set, D&D, and Magic, Return to Innistrad, or Modern Horizons 2? Um... Yeah, I, I, I sort of skimmed by, I was really busy this morning, so I didn't do a whole lot of like browsing. Um, but uh, I sort of skimmed the new announcements and like, yeah, the Viking set seems pretty cool. I mean, dude, I just like new sets. I don't care what they are. <laughs> I was stoked for Theros and I still like Theros, but people were like, what is this garbage? But I don't think it's garbage, I think it's great. I love Theros. You get Uro and other cards. Sir Nutsworth. Hi, Aaron. Really loving your streams and rewatching the VODs. Trying out my own streams as you inspired me so much with your enthusiasm. Hey, Sir Nutsworth. Get it. Get that stream hype, yo. Uh, any tips on how to get started? Just start, man. Just start. The, the, when, you, when, when you spend too much time, like, I have to make this perfect. I have, this has to be perfect. It's just going to, you're not going to hit it. So just start. That's what I did. The first Shuffle Master stream fucking sucks. It, it fucking sucks, dude. It's it's on my phone, but, like, I just started, you know? I just, because, I mean, this was the goal, right? Like, having a set and everything, but, like, it, it didn't make much sense for me to, like, set up this giant set for something that didn't exist. So I started, I had to start building it up and building it up. So just start. That's my advice. Uh, Purified Storm. That welcome back. When's the last Majora's Mask episode and Link's Awakening coming? Take this. Take this. Take this. Uh, it's coming, man. The the Majora's Mask episode is coming tomorrow. I, I apologize for 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 that. That is that is my bad. Marhol Els Dragon. Hey. <laughs> Hello, my dear Hanson. I hope to see you again. I hope to never see you again. I I hope that you never pull focus from me ever again. Never come back! Okay. 
Uh, A stands for French. Moltz, Larry, Slip, Jordan, Scred, Go, Aaron. By your comments combined, I'm Shuffle Master. Tragic Slip. Scred. Prowling Pangolin. Jordan. Almighty Brushwag. Mulch. Sassy Cat. Hot Soup. River Hoopo. This is like the theme song for Shuffle Master, right? Larry the Dromosaur. And Thieving Otter. All of those powers combined create. Good vibes! I should have like a rainbow effect. I should do that next. I should have. Oh, Ducklet! Hold on. A shitload of ducklets and ducklet pieces! Ducklet! Okay. Here we go. Uh, fuck. B Lockdown, you're a naughty liar and I'm gonna have to punish you by giving you more chats. Wow, thanks, B, and welcome back. KP, welcome back. Hoop hype stream, let's go! Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Sam, welcome back. Sam Rush, glad I got to catch this stream today. Sending my luck and well wishes. Hell yeah. This is gonna be dope as hell. Uh, ooh, Kamari. Hey, Aaron, sending good vibes. Please be safe and healthy. I'm always safe and I'm always healthy. Boom, boom, boom. I'm eating good, feeling good, dog. And I'm staying hydrated. You gotta stay hydrated in this time of day. Ah. All right. John P. I play arena, but because of you, I kind of want to buy packs now. Damn you, says kidding. He's also kidding. But damn you indeed. Thank you. RX Zio. Hey, man. Dan's talked about his love for Panzer Dragoon before. I've talked about my love for Panzer Dragoon before. I fucking love Panzer Dragoon. It's like one of my favorite Saturn games. Uh, would you ever play the remake on the show? There was a remake? I love how I'm like, dude, that's one of my favorite games. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't know there was a remake. That's fucking awesome. I would play it on Saturn. I don't want to play fucking remake. Clifton Knight. Hey, Aaron, I've made my progress on my depression and anxiety. I'm no longer on medication for it, and I'm generally feeling better. Game Grumps has helped me along with this, and I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Clifton. You fucking rule. I knew you'd get through it. I fucking knew it. I knew it in my heart that you would get through that shit. Fuck yeah. And I know it's it's never perfect, but you do what you can, and you, you, you're, you're, you're killing it, Clifton. All right, Landon Wallace. What's the deal with eggplants? They're not eggs, they're not plants. What is this? You're tight five? This is Shuffle Master, damn it. Lance White. Aaron, you're awesome. How serious were you about playing Sonic Heroes yearly? Because I'm so down for that. As serious as I'll ever be! Erebus plays. Hey, I'm so happy I can catch a stream. Uh, good luck today, and thank you for everything you do. Thank you, Erebus. I really appreciate that. Um, Farron Fonz, congrats, Aaron, on the reveals. Here's a fun trivia. Of the f 59 lizards in MTG, 35 are screaming, most of them gently. They're all screaming gently, and I will find them all. I will find them all. I just remembered something. So I created emotes for uh, members, and I have them all uploaded, but I still have to, like, denote... I have to give like a perk. So I thought you could just go live with emotes and then just, you know, two bucks membership or whatever. But I have to add perks. Um, so I got to figure out what the perk is going to be for people. And there's, there's, I have a couple options, a couple ideas, like maybe some arena games, if I can get arena running on here, um, like arena games with y'all. But I'm thinking probably like members only streams every so often, uh, maybe like once a month, a members only stream and you get to hang out and, um, and I'm thinking maybe I'll send some, because I'm always pulling, like, energies and tokens and shit, so maybe I'll just, like, sign some and, and send them out. I'm not sure, but I have to come up with a perk in order to do memberships. Uh, so, a Discord is good. Maybe I should do a Discord. I don't understand that. I don't understand. I'm, I'm look, I'm, like, I'm, I'm 33. I'm not hip with the job. The, 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 I'm not hip with the grooves, but I... I will figure something out, and then I'll start memberships. So hopefully by Friday I'll have memberships. And by the way, since I'm doing my magic stream today on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a Pokemon stream on Friday. And it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. All right. 
Uh, Karo Yoshi, once again. Also, the name is like Karaoke, but Karo Yoshi. <laughs> That's what I thought in my head. I don't want to take credit for that. Um, Keegan Zambo. Aaron, I'm willing to buy both Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. Would you guys play it? I, I think we have both, so you don't have to worry about it. If you're buying them for yourself, then I would recommend it. Yeah, they're good games. Um, but I'm sure eventually we'll play every Zelda game. Uh, Persistent myth, Misfit. Hey, Aaron, have you and Susie ever watched Dragula? If so, would you consider having a season two contestant bitch puddin' on an episode of Game Grumps? Guess Grumps. I've never seen Dragula. I don't know what that is. Um, I do watch Drag Race, though. Uh, Tom Pizarro. Hey, Aaron, best time to work on my game is listening to Shuffle Masters. Keep it up, man. Hey, you keep it up. Now that's cool that you're working on a game right now. Uh, I'm going to open up those Hidden Fates boosters at, at some point, definitely. Um... Sass Dragon, thanks a lot, Aaron. I've never owned a MTG card before, and I keep watching these videos, and now I've spent $100 on Magic cards in two days. That sounds a lot like my first experience with Magic. That's exactly how my how it went for me. Uh, Virtual Ranger, watched you pull the Charizard the other day and went and got two boosters. Got real lucky and pulled my own G-Max Charizard. Holy shit, that's amazing. Congratulations. Uh, oh, my God, dude. Wow, there's so many people. Thank you for joining. This is really great. Uh, Trainer Nomad, thank you so much for the cameo for my sister, Aaron. She was floored. I'm so humbled by your constant good vibes and generosity. Much love, buddy. Hey, man, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you, Trainer Nomad. That's really sweet. And I'm glad that your sister liked that cameo. Those cameos are so fun for me, so I'm glad that they can uh, touch the lives of many people that they're the, the usually made for. Most of the cameos I do are for other people. They're, they're asking for, like, gifts for other people. So um, whenever I get reviews, it's like, dang, she loved it. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. So glad. Ryan Yance. Uh Oh, another... Uh, my wife sent me a cameo from you. I remember that. I remember that one. That was a good one. Uh, f from the first day you had it. It was amazing. Thank you very much. We are still excited to see you in March for Scribble. P.S. I changed my pants like you said in the 10 Minute Power Hour PJs. To the 10 Minute Power Hour PJs. Yes, Ryan Yance is... I think that one's public, so you can go and see it on my cameo page. But I... T I Ryan Yance's sister... Or wife. Wife. Just wife, just wife, uh, asked me to make a cameo for Ryan, and, and she said that he would be so excited that he would pee his pants. So I, I made a joke about him peeing his pants in the cameo. Mm. Uh, Peter Went, your preview card is already up on the spoiler sites. You are being watched. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, well, I got more to come, baby. It's in the next, in the next like two and a half hours, you're gonna get some, some preview cards at the wazoo. Sir Nutsworth did a couple of streams and have had fun for sure. Not many viewers, but oh well. And the archive videos are doing okay. Thanks for being so supportive, Sir Nutsworth. You keep doing it, and you'll keep getting those views. I'll tell you what. Oh, she you may. Did you ever show Dan what it looks like when the moon falls on Majora's Mask? Oh no, I never did do that. I guess I just didn't want to smell the stench of failure. Carissa Dirk, hi Aaron, are you familiar with MTG Alters? Extended art or custom art painted directly on the card by art? I have. I painted two for you. We'll mail soon. Oh, thank you so much. That's dope. I, I kind of wanted to do it myself, to be honest with you. I thought that would be a super fun project. Uh, Dolores Gonzalez, I like Commander. Do you like Commander? My favorite is Scarab God because it's fun to play with creatures. Your play is playing too. I don't quite understand the th that statement, but I do like Commander. I play with Sir Gwyn right now as my Knight's Commander, um, and it is super fun, and I've been playing a lot with uh, Octo Pimp. Octo Pimp? Um, and I think soon we're probably going to be playing Paper Commander live on with Spell Table. Um, we, just, we just texted each other today about maybe streaming us playing EDH, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I steal six three seven four. Hey, got into magic at the same time as you. Awesome to have another excited personality interested in the game. Much love for all your content and thanks for all the BLM love. It's fucking right. Black Lives Matter. You better fucking believe Black Lives Matter. Uh, thank you for that. Um, awesome. Much love for all your content. Thank you, I steal. I really appreciate that. Mr. Lovecraft, hi Aaron, new to Shuffle Master. I haven't seen you actually shuffle anything yet. Looking forward to it. You're going to be waiting a long damn time. Uh, <laughs> John Kubik, how dare you get me back into magic? I have already rebuilt three commander decks. Hell yeah. I'm trying to build some new commander decks too. I want to build an enchantment deck. 
Rory Montgomery. Hey, Aaron, I love how much fun you're having with the new effects. I have a ducklet and a Dunsparce heading your way soon. Hell yeah. Uh, might look for more ducklets first, but so hype for the infinite ducklet wall. That shit's going to be hype as fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, Prez M. Friend, so what do you like watching in your leisure time? Me. Shows picture of Aaron hydrating magic cards. It's complicated. You wouldn't understand. That was fun. I think I might have curled a couple cards that were on the shelf because of that, but that's fine. Uh, Christopher Navis, I feel like you would be a good kite man. Kite man, hell yeah. I don't know what that means. One who flies kites? Samuel Hoskins. Hey, Aaron, we started playing MTG around the same time. We're like magic buddies. Unrelated. Odds of Banjo-Kazooie on GG. Might, may you find $20 on the ground. Thank you, Samuel. Um, probably not. Banjo Kazooie, because I didn't grow up with it, and it's very beloved, and I would not want—I would not do it justice. Period. I just simply would not. Um, everyone would be mad at me for getting frustrated with it because N64 games are frustrating. Period, and I—it just wouldn't be a good time. Uh, Pier Paolo Mercurio, hey, and I sent you a mail on your website in a very dark moment of my life. Uh, doing it let me lay off some heavy fears I had. It meant the world to me. Thank you, even if you don't have any idea of it. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that, man. Everyone goes through dark shit, and I'm glad that you're 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 getting past it. So, good on you, brother. All right, let's do it. let's do it. Kite Man is a Batman villain that flies on a kite and says, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> is that real? <laughs> Damn, dude. All right, let's do this. Let's do some fuck. You check my watch, by the way. It's fucking sick Sailor Moon watch right there. Hell yeah, that's the watch of the day. Uh, okay, I should open them like up here. Yeah, cool. I got it like pretty zoomed in without the camera, like getting in the face of the, the, without the camera getting in the way of the other camera. I got confused because there's two camera situations. All right, here we go. We got a giraffe red. We got a helica glider. We got a cloud piercer. We got a motherfucking lurking dead eye. Yeah, these are foiled as fuck. Mystic subduel planes. Here we go. Here's the big hits. Nascent. Metamorph. That's my little tiny creature right there. My little tiny creature. Kahira! Full art! We got that MF. We got that MF. Look, look at that. Look at that little fucking, look at that little guy. He's just, he's just spitting fire out of his mouth. Look at that little guy. I love him. Alright. Luca! Oh shit! It's a fucking foil ass regular ass Luca! I don't have this card, so I'm actually very excited about this. I I will say I'm one of those scrubs that has like a collection, and I like put all the cards in the binder based on the number. Um, and I do not have this card. I have the regular one. I don't have a foil version. So yes, mwah. We got an auspicious stars and it's cavern whisperer. What about a catch me a try on baby? Boom! Take that, MFs. I can add green, blue, or red. So I don't even care. Godzilla baby boo. And then we got Necro Panther. Fucking nice, dude. God, these Ikoria Collector's Boosters are so heckin' good, baby. Oh, there's too many cards in the Collector's Boosters to sleeve, man. I'm gonna have to sleeve at the end. I do have the sleeves, though. Maybe I'll sleeve when I'm answering some Super Chats. How about that? That sounds good, right? We got, we got a cat with a roller mark on it. Very nice. We got Corpse Churn. Churn up those corpses, baby. This poor thing. I think his name was Geralt. We got Hampering Snare. Ah, uh, no. I hate it. Yeah, the, fu the the fucking light on the foils is just like, wah! Thwart the enemy. We got Unexpected Fangs. Where'd they come from? I don't know. Somewhere. Sanctuary Smasher. Keen Sight Mentor. Is it, is it warging into it? I think that's what's happening. It's warging into it. Keen Sight. That's cool, though. All right, here we go. Here come the big boys. You ready for this? You ready? Dismantling wave. Not worth a whole heck of a lot. Genesis ultimatum. That's green, blue, red. Look at the top five cards in your library. Put any number of permanent cards. Oh, shit. We got a luminous brood moth, baby. We got a foil ass luminous brood moth. I actually don't have this card either. Fuck yeah. Oh, that kicks ass. Hell yeah, this card is so good. Listen to this. Flying, 3-4. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, returns to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. Dude, first of all, ridiculous. 
first of all, ridiculous, right? It's just like, oh, now it's a flyer. Thank, thank you. Second of all, you can combo it with Solemnity, which makes it so you can't gain counters, and then you just have unkillable things. It's great. Very good card. We got these st stupid, I don't care, and then we got Zagoth Triome, and what's this? What's this? Oh, it's destroy ya, baby! Oh, I'm gonna destroy ya today! Oh, man, I do like pulling a destroy ya, but I always hate pulling an Everquill Phoenix because I have like a thousand of them, so... Good old destroy ya. Uh, beautiful, beautiful girl right there. Destroy ya. Mwah! Mmm! Oh, yeah, there's Godzilla cards in this. You know what's- you know what I heard? You know what I heard, and I don't know if this is true or not. But I heard the Godzilla alts are so expensive because of the Godzilla community. Like, it's not because of Magic the Gathering collectors, it's because of Godzilla collectors. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. Um, but, hell yeah. Uh, Greater Sandworm. That's, you know, I feel like that's classist. What about the lesser Sandworms? It's fucking ridiculous, man. Scoured Barons. Oh shit! We got a fucking foil thieving otter, baby! Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker stealing his dude's. Look at his stealing his bag! And he's like, fuck my bag! Hell yeah, dude! He's gonna walk into the water like he doesn't. No shit. We got Vulpakeet, we got the Sanctuary Lockdown, and Ivy Elemental, stupid ass reprint who gives a shit, and here we go. Boom! Curious Herd! I don't know, man. Oh shit! Song of Crit. Let's throw that away. Who cares? Who needs that card? Guy Ruda, baby. Guy Ruda. He got a Nar and a Migratory Great Horn and like, the fuck the Dirge Bat. The goddamn Dirge Bat. It's the Dirge Bat and the Everquill Phoenix. It's just all day, every day. You know what? I don't even have a foil Everquill Phoenix. I finally pulled the foil Dirge Bat, but whatever. Godzilla. You'd think Godzilla would be more hype, right? It's like, oh shit, I pulled Godzilla. It's a fucking, it's, un, it's uncommon. I haven't seen a single person use this card. I haven't seen a single person use Titanoth Rex. It's like, dude, Titanoth! I'm working over here. Alright. <clears throat> Hello. <gasps> Heightened reflexes. <gasps> Bloodfell caves. My favorite card in the whole world. A foil life land. What am I gonna do? About I fucking damn light turned off. Dead weight. I gotta plug in that thing to a different thing. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug in that thing to a different thing, and then everything's gonna be fine. Farfinder. I love that little creature. And she's like, I love that little creature too. And the creature's like, everybody loves me. <laughs> All right, Jubilant Skybonder. I love this art, man. It's fun. It's fun as hell. Ah, it's, of course it's fun. It's fucking Jesper, dude. Goddamn genius artist over there. Hornbash. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Herald of the Forgotten. <laughs> He's like, it was this big. Titan's Nest. The Nest of a Titan. I actually don't think I have this card, so that's great. Kogla! You know, you know they were planning to make this King Kong, and then somebody was like, but a toy doesn't own King Kong. And they were like, oh shit. Alright, well whatever, it's just Kogla then. Vulpakeet, Boneyard Lurker, and oh shit! Is that a full art, Vivian? I think so, baby! Mwah! Oh, she loves y'all, Vivian Monsters Advocate. She's an advocate for, uh... Good pulls, I guess. Anyway. Oh shit! It's a fucking full arm foil Anguirus! Anguirus! I never thought I'd see, like, like, planes. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like Magic the Gathering, but there's like jet fighters. Fucking Anguirus, baby! Boo! Another JPEG. What's everyone talking about? I don't know what that's all about. And <laughs> pouncing shore shark. It's a shark. It's a shark with arms. 
That's it. All right, next card. Huh. Catbird. Meow. Dude, if my cats had wings like that, they would be having so much fun in my house. Keep safe. The owl's like, no. Or wait, is the owl, who's protecting who? Because it kind of looks like the owl's protecting the human, but the human also looks like they're protecting the owl. Copper coats think they understand duty and loyalty, but they can't begin to fathom the depths of my bond. Damn, dude. Fucking way to blast copper coats. You think copper coats know shit? Forget it. I know way more shit than copper coats. Un uh, coats, unlikely end. We got the honey mammoth. It's a fucking hungry ass mammoth, dude. Yo, if that was that much honey, I'd be covering my nose and tusks with it too, you know what I'm saying? Exuberant wolf bear. We got Proud Wild Bonder. I love this card because then the other card is also is the grown-up version and then it's on his shoulder. I love it. All right, here we go. Woo! Fireflux Squad. They're going nuts over here. Throwing fucking chains out and the fires and everything. Are they fighting fires? I don't know. Hunted Nightmare Full Art. That's pretty dope. I'm just going to lie. I'm not going to lie right there. Look at the value on this card. It's a three job, four, five with Menace. It's ridiculous. Of course, the, the, your opponent gets a death touch counter on one of their creatures, but... Hey, if you can drop this turn three against, like, a spell deck, then you're fucking golden, dude. Slither Wisp. I thought this card would be worth way more, but, um... Nope. Chittering Harvester, Cloud Piercer, and we got a Triome, baby. We got that Indatha Triome. That's where I'm trying to be right now. I'm trying to take a vacation at the Indatha Triome, man. I want to just catch butterflies and shit. And then... A regular Inguirus! Inguirus! And then Trumpeting Nar. That's good. It's nice. Salty. Mm. Ah. Staying a little hydrated. Alright. Let's open up some more dang cards over here. Can you guys fucking believe a shark? There he is. Ah! It's a screaming shark. Windscarred Crag. Fucking, fucking, fucking. Stupid ass Crag. Ferocious Tigerilla. Mutual destruction. Lava Serpent. Ha ha! Neutralize. Cunning Night Bonder. Love this art. Fucking colors are wild, dude. Love all the purples and the blues. It's fucking gorgeous. Love this art. By, uh, Ekaterina Burmack. Thanks for doing cute art, man. Stupid people destroy cards. Uh, I don't destroy cards. I only destroy wind-scarred crags, okay? Fucking worthless ass, stupid ass. Who, who needs a wind-scarred crag? It's a fucking Boros lifeland. You really, you really... Crying me a river over a wind-scarred crag? Get out of here with that shit! Get out of here! Bah! It's gone! Sucks ass, and I don't want to hear it. Planes. You're really gonna give me a Bonders ornament in the fucking commander slot? What the fuck, dude? What if I- You can- You can- I could pull a, 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 a goddamn, whatever the fuck, the blue one, the siege, castle siege, the bl blue, the blue one. Fierce guardianship. And then you're giving me a fucking bonders ornament? Ridiculous. We got Yidaro. It's a big turtle. Oh shit! Fucking foil shark typhoon! Now that's sick. That's pretty sick right there. That's awesome. Oh hell yeah. Look at it. Look at how look at how much fun that shark's having. He's like, yeah, yeah. All right, fuck yeah. We got Cavern Whisper and the Chittering Harvester and Sea Dash Octopus. Pretty dang good card. Just overall a good card. And Dorat, fucking Dorat, and a Dreamtail Heron. They do weird orders for these cards. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the Shuffle Master, everybody. My name's Aaron. God damn, my fucking light turned off. My and I didn't even turn the lights out. What am I doing? I'm such a freak. Hold on. Lights back on. God 
had the regular lights on while my show lights are on, and they're messing with my fucking color grading. It's better. Jeez Louise. Rancid Sandy over here. All right. My light's back on. My eye light's on. So you see my little sparkle in my eye. See those little sparkles in my eye? This is just the one light. It's just the light. That's all that's there for. Just to add a little, little, little life to my eye. Darren LeCount, ever seen One Piece? Any opinions? Yeah, I think it's great. I've only read the 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 the, the mango. <laughs> uh, Jack Ford, hi again, Aaron. Hoping for good polls. Thanks, bud. Clifton Knight, once again, I got the new Godzilla Tokyo Clash board game. I'd love to see you and Dan play that on stream once the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is over with. I would love to see anything once the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is over with. I would love to see my friend again. That would be great. Dak Goss, currently working on an Angel Demon Commander deck. Oh, man. Any advice? Also love your content. You're a huge inspiration. Yeah, I got some advice for you because Octopimp uses one. He uses it exactly that. And Kalia the Vast is the commander, and uh, I mean, you know, throw in, uh, what's her face, Avison, throw in Platinum Angel, throw in fucking a bunch of demons, <laughs> Rune Scar Demon or whatever, is the Tudor Demon, throw in, they're all good, that's the problem with the Demon and Angel deck, they're all so good, so just throw in any of them and you'll fucking win probably. Kalia's ridiculous. Ann Hughes just gives me a heart and a, another emoji that I, I don't know what that is. It looks like a cake? It looks like a cake? I don't know what that is. What the hell is that emoji? Well, I thank you for it. Uh, Nathan Smith, welcome back. My coworker never played MTG once and collected one of every card in Akoria because he's a huge Godzilla fan. That's what I'm saying, man. There's something about the Godzilla fans are out of, out of their... their adamant to get like what they what they need and what they want man that's that's, that's so cool we need to make godzilla cards in every set so that all of them are expensive Ka uh, kyra or kira jones hello again shuffle master can't make the stream but could use some nice words for later putting a pet to sleep today sending my pack blessings i'm so sorry that's so sad um you'll get the, i mean time heals all man you'll get through it i know it's tough sit in the sadness that's what i say uh, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the the reason you're sad is because you have to feel it. You can't suppress it, so just feel it for a while. Give yourself some time and don't judge it. That's the that's the advice I have for you, Kira. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Leona, hello, darling. <laughs> Gosh, uh, you look lovely today. I'm excited for the cards today. Have had a super stressful two weeks, and your presence is a gift. I'm sure to all of us. Never forget that, please. Thank you, Leona. You're the best. Uh, Sean Cronin. Uh, I already got that one. The commander. Building Sir Gwyn commander deck. Uh, Michael Pfeffer. I recently found out there's a real MTG-inspired version of Card Wars from Adventure Time. Now I want to see the Shuffle Master open a Card Wars box. I would love to do some weird card openings that aren't Magic or Pokemon. I want to do Yu-Gi-Oh. I want to do old, weird card games that are retired. I want to do it all. I really want to open some UFS card. Is there one Universal Fighting System? There's a Mega Man set. There's a Dark Stalker set. There's all kinds of good cards in that. So I, I kind of want to open that on stream. Uh, a single pedal. Welcome back. Hi, Aaron. I drew a new arena print on Twitter. I hope you get some rares for the stream. I'll have to check that out. Uh, would you accept a stack of 1990s Star Wars and Star Trek cards? You fucking know I would. <laughs> uh... Uh, L Steel or I Steel. Uh, also, any interest in No More Heroes series? I love No More Heroes. The Wii version is fun and infuriating. Seems right up your alley. Yeah, I love No More Heroes. I think it's a fucking great game. Super fun. Whoa, man, they're just rolling in. Thank you guys so much for the super chats, everybody. Gods Exodia. I'm more of a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, but I still love these streams. Hey, man, let's open some Yu-Gi-Oh packs because I'm stoked. I'm super stoked to do that. Uh, Cassie, Cassie me. Hey, Aaron, I love all of your Starbomb work and have the signed copy of the Triforce. Hey, any chance of a Starbomb show or tour after all this COVID mess? Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. Starbomb's a little tough to tour because we didn't write the songs to be toured. They're, they're sort of difficult to perform live because they're so, like, fast and there's no room for any breaths. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see, you know. The, the, what lies ahead 
I don't know. Hmm. Oh, hell. Solaris Records, Dungeons & Dragons on Grumps post Backstreet Boys? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a huge D&D guy. I know everyone's like stoked about D&D, &D, but there's just, I just never really clicked for me. Um, Tristomosan. It's dope that my spirit animal is playing the game that brings me the most joy slash trauma. We met at AX and talked about how BS that Ninja Gaiden 3 was, and it's still one of the highlights of my life. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 3 is a little whack. Angel Guillermo Gutierrez. Aaron, what's your favorite format to play? Uh, probably Commander right now. Because I can actually fucking play it. Uh, also pulled a Teferi's Protection from a Mystery Booster as you got a Mana Crypt. Oh, shit. Thank you for the good luck. Nice. Um, Matthew Lugo. Hey, Aaron. Didn't know you played Magic. Do you have a favorite Commander deck? Mine's Geared and Slivers. Uh, yes, right now it's Knights. Um, with Sir Gwyn as the Commander. It's vicious. Uh, Merc... Merc... Mercutiority. If you're looking for an enchantment deck, try Tarngath First Mate. I have Aura Voltron enchantment go deck of it, and it's just a lot of dumb fun. That's a lot of words. Um, I use uh, Tuvasa for my enchantment deck right now. Uh, I'll check out Tarngarth, though. Sam Thompson, hey Aaron, random question. Any advice on buying a gaming laptop? Love the streams, mate. Thanks. Uh, I don't know. Just look up reviews. That's what I do. I don't know anything about fucking computer technology anymore. Uh, like, it's you have to keep up with it, or else you you know, a half a year later you're like, what what processor are you using? Core i twelve? I don't. Yeah. So, uh, Sam I already did that one. Thini Bean, hey Duderino, welcome back. I opened my Yu-Gi-Oh cards recently and found my first edition foil Dark Magician Girl. Hey, nice. Excited to see you open some someday. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to do that. Attack of the Dodo. Check out the Flesh and Blood TCG for opening cards with awesome art and cool themes. I would love to. Uh, would love to see you open some someday. Thanks. I would love to do that too. Uh, and Angel Guillermo Gutierrez once again, but will you play the D&D &D Magic the Gathering set next year though? Is that is that real? It's, it's actually D&D? &D? I mean, yes, I love Magic the Gathering, so any set that comes out. That's sick. All right. Let's do these. Let's do the rest of these Ikoria booster things. How about that, huh? How about that? Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty sick, man. How do you cross over D and D though? Just like the classes, and I guess I guess like a beholder, a beholder card would be cool. Solid footing. <laughs> Light of hope. It's really pretty card. I love the colors on excavation mole. You know, it's like a nothing card, but like. I like the green and the... It's like turquoise and pink. Uh, Garrison Cat. Cute little cat. Valiant Rescuer. Great for cycling decks. Very uncool. Heartless Act. Very uncool as well. Hate this card just because they're killing a cat with wings. All right, here we go. Oh, it's Xeris the Writhing Storm. I'm a writhing storm. I'm a snake leviathan, baby. He's, I don't know, he's a dragon. Flies through the sky with the greatest of ease. Inspired ultimatum. Very cool. I'm starting to understand the value of these ultimatum cards now that I'm playing more EDH. They're pretty dope. Oh, cool. Foil song creation. Don't care. Dreamtail Heron. Sick. Raugrin Triome. Beautiful. And what's this? What's this? What's this? It's a motherfucking Mothra, baby! It's fucking Mothra! You kidding me with this shit? I pulled a fucking foil luminous brood moth and then a goddamn Mothra? What the hell? Jesus! It's fucking amazing, dude. Oh, I love, dude, I love Acoria collectors. Like, there's just so much fucking, it's Mothra! <clears throat> it's just a luminous brood moth, but it's Mothra. And this shit's like, fuck it, what is it, like a, like a $60 card? I don't fucking know. It's awesome. Awesome. Love that shit. All right, Kraken. Coordinated charge. Frost Link just chilling on a branch. We got Maimed Serval. Damn. 
check those eyes, dude. Adventurous Impulse, this cute art. Unbreakable Bond, even cuter art. Oh, she's sad. And then the creature's like, are you sad? And she's like, yeah, man, <laughs> obviously. Or is she pulling out the... Oh, she's pulling like an arrow out of its paw. Out of its paw. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Survive Thunderdome. Here we go. Planes. Titan Hunter. That's all right. That's that's like one of the mid value commander cards, right? Titan Hunter. It's like pretty decent. Pretty decent. Full art Gyruda. Better gyrate those hips with the, out of excitement out of Gyruda Doom of Depths. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Foil Extinction Event, very cool. Odd or even, very strange. Zero is even, apparently. Insatiable Heman and Cloud Piercer. Oh, would you look at that? A fucking Everquill Phoenix. What a goddamn surprise. I think I'll pull six of these before the end of this video. Foil Space Godzilla. Death Backstreet Boys. Fucking. Is this card still a thousand billion dollars? Because I'll take that for a, for a death. I, I haven't. I've never seen the new one. I've never. That's the only one that exists. She's Louise. It's the only one that exists. I mean, what what did they change the name to? Like, Death Godzilla. Uh, space flu. Ha <laughs> Jeez. All right. All right. Beast. Go for blood. Oh, it's the it's the cat that dies. Look, it's the cat that dies. He gets executed. So sad. Cathartic reunion. Dark bark. An adaptive shimmer. Look at this bug. You just want to eat it, don't you? No, you don't. Storm wild cat rubber. Momentum rum rubber. And we got some forest. Here we go. You ready? You ready for this? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Boom! Capricopian! What? It's a goat hydra! What? Yo, I'm gonna build a hydra commander deck! Oh, that's genius! Yo, that's fucking genius! Oh, I have to do that. I have to do that. Goat hydra. Fuck yeah. I'm a Capricorn, by the way. I was born January 6th. So there you go. This is my this is my spirit animal. Karuga! The macro siege. He's a motherfucking walrus, hippo. Stegosaurus. Obosh, the prey piercer. The not as good companion, now that companion's got nerfed. Dreamtail Heron. And we got a full art Nethroy. Full art Nethroy? I barely know her. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! That's fucking awesome! And we got a Zagoth Triome! Wow! Alright, I'm just leaving that right away, actually. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's the most expensive card in the entire set. Let me just go ahead and sleeve that real quick. Woo! Nicely done, me! This is my first foil Ghidorah, man. I have two other regular Ghidorahs, but this is my first foil. Holy shit, man. God damn. And this is a foil Zagoth Triumph. That's why it was so bright on the camera. Woo! Woo! All right. Hell yeah. I'm cool with that. Where's my where's my uh where's my steamer? I'm just going to ruin this real quick. Nah, man. All right. Good good fucking pull day. Good fucking pull day. I'll tell you that, man. We pulled a luminous brood moth, a mothra, and a foil Ghidorah. Like, what the fuck, dude? This box is, is stacked. Scoured Barons, who cares? Oh, shit! It's your boy! Thieving motherfucking otter! Stealing coins from some dude! Volpakeet. Got a parcel beast. Oh, I think that's actually the first foil parcel beast I've ever pulled. Okay. Mountain and a ravenous Gigantotherium. Just decide on a name, dude. Just, you... Just don't combine 14 different words. Are you gigantic? Are you a Tether? Or are you a Reum? I don't know, man. Emergent Ultimatum. Cool. Full art. Love it. Frondalar Darbadar. That's good. Savai Triome. And we got ourselves a Death Backstreet Boys. 
Very nice. Non-foil. It's okay. And then another foil parcel beast to boot. Very cool. I'm okay with this. Hey, everybody who just subscribed, welcome. I'm assuming this hit the front page of YouTube again, because that's what always happens when that happens. Uh, I get a bunch of new subs. So thank you for subbing. Thank you for subbing. My name is Aaron, and this is Shuffle Master. I open cards every week, sometimes twice a week. I open Pokemon and Magic the Gathering, and we have fun here. We have fun here, and we're going to have fun! So enjoy yourself. Subscribe if you want. Mwah. If you're new, you should subscribe so that you get notified of when I'm streaming. I usually stream on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but if I'm streaming extra, I usually stream on Tuesdays. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so there's like a one second delay. I just have to remember that. Uh, oh, I'm looking at cards now. Convolute! Pacifism. Oh shit! It's the motherfucking Almighty Brushwag! I'll, I'll hail the Almighty Brushwag, dude! Yeah, boy! Look at this motherfucker! He's just fucking just walking out, dude! He's just walking! Don't care none! Look at him! This is a stupid face. I love this bad boy. I love him so much. Day Squad! We got a wingspan, we got a stampede, we got a swamp. What do we got? Boom! It's Catherall, Aspect Warper! He's he's one of the, the box commanders for the commander decks. He's a, he's a bug. I actually have him framed in my in my house, because we have that like library, and uh, I put him in a frame because Susie likes bugs. So it was like the only Magic the Gathering decoration that like kinda made sense. It's like, oh well you like bugs and there's other bugs here, so let's frame a bug. So I put him in a frame so it would match. Oh shit, full art Winona! Oh my god! What the fuck? These fucking packs are ridiculous! These are such fucking amazing packs! What are you talking about? What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, man, that's fine. Yeah, dude, I'll take it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I was just gonna go home now. It's fine. Foil Ghidorah, Foil Ghidorah, Mothra, Luminous Broodmoth Foil, a, a fucking Full Art Winota, and then a Full Art Winota Foil in the same fucking pack! Jeez Louise! Stupid ass Porky Parrot and Vulpakeet and fucking Vagrock. It doesn't even matter! I'm, I'm at such a fucking high level of serotonin at this point. I see this and I'm like, oh, whatever. Who cares? And King Caesar. And a regal Leosaur. <laughs> it's the sound a regal Leosaur makes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to diss the Porky Pirate. You're right. He's fucking, he's a screaming parrot. This motherfucker over here, he's like, yeah! That's what he's like, so don't worry about it. All right. We love the parrot, dude. 23 bucks for foil borderless Winota. That's that's sick. All right, here we go. Last pack. We got a crustacean. We got a ram through. We got a rumbling rock slide and a blood curdle. That's how I like my milk. Escape protocols. Bosch hysterics. Here we go. Fierce guardianship. Nope, it's vitality hunter. The card that creeps me out and nobody cares about. God, this is fucking... In you know, it's like I see this. I see this card and I'm like... What a nightmare! And then it says nightmare, and I'm like, God, it's such a monstrosity! And then it says monstrosity. So it's like, yep, that's pretty accurate. Shovel. Doesn't even matter anymore. Full art shovel. It's pretty damn good, but it doesn't even matter. It's not a fucking Mothra. F okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, fine. A full art foil Lurus. That's, yeah, it's no big deal. Whatever. That's not even the best card that we pulled. Fucking... <laughs> Like, just leave me alone. <laughs> Stop giving me such good damn cards. This is out of control. Trumpeting Gnar. It's a Cub Warden. There it is. Finally. The Everquill. Of the and Dorat! Dorat the Explorat, baby! Alright, done. We fucking cleared that box out. What a goddamn good box. What a goddamn clean, clean, wonderful box. Isn't that wonderful? Now, before we hop back in, 
to doing some super chats and doing some fun shit now that we cleared out Ikoria collectors boosters. Um, let me just say right now, I've got a second card to reveal. I'm gonna put these over here. Put these damn cards over here and then put this. I didn't bring a damn box to bring my cards home in. Right, what am I doing over here? I'm, just, I'm acting all a fool. Um, before we get going into other stuff, uh, you know I've got to reveal a second card. You know I've got to reveal a second card, baby! It's coming! Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> I was, I was, it's in my brain because I was watching, um... I was watching IT Crowd bloopers, and there's, <laughs> there's a blooper of Moss, and he's like, and he's like, his therapist is coming on to him, and then he's like looking at her, and he pulls off his glasses, and he's like, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> Fucking lost my damn mind. All right, you ready for this? Card number two. Card number two, baby. One, two, three, boom! It's a Myria Captain. What do you think of that? It's tweeted out. Done. It's a motherfucking four-drop Angel Warrior one-one with flying and vigilance. But guess, get this. Get this. When a Myria Captain enters the battlefield, put a one-one counter on it for each creature in your party. So you can have four one-one counters on this. You have a five drop flyer with vigilance if you got a full party. Can you fucking believe that? Damn! It's fucking sick! It's fucking sick! Mmm! Just take it in. Take it in. Matt Stewart, you did us good. You did us good, baby. A beautiful dang card. That's not even the best damn card! That's not even the- whoops! That's not even the best damn card! <laughs> it's the second card I'm revealing! There's two more! And they ramp up in goodness. The last one is pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. So... That's all there is to it, man. Alright. Party mechanic seems meh! I don't think so! What are you talking about?! Party mechanic looks awesome! All y'all being, being so, being so rough on new mechanics and stuff, it's like, bro, you haven't even played it yet. You don't know. I don't know either, but. Squiggles! <laughs> I just pulled my neck there. Squiggles, thank you, what the fuck? Hey Aaron, love that you started a channel for your card openings. I wish I could still do Magic IRL, but it's way too hard to keep up with, so I only do Magic Arena nowadays. Good luck on your pulls today. Ah, I really did pull my neck. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, let me just work this shit out in my neck right now, because I really fucked that shit up. Well, because you <laughs> donated a lot. Uh, okay. Let's do some super chits. Oh my god, look at all these subscribers. Thank you. Wow, all these new people. Thank you. God damn. Woo! Oh my god. Well, stop! <laughs> Alec Vendura, Aaron, have you played the City of Mist? Indie able tabletop ah, okay, yeah, we're good. Indie tabletop game that is nar dwar detective focused and it's awesome. Love you and Dan, and thank you for inspiring me. Thank you, Alec. Uh, misinformed Mar. No, I haven't played City of Mist. To answer your question, that you paid to ask. No, I have not played City of Mist. It sounds dope though. Um, misinformed Marty, Aaron, I hate fart jokes. So why do I love you? Because I'm high class fart jokes. James Coltos, love these streams. Just bought a fat pack. Susie, around for a remote blessing? Uh, she's in the other room, so I just uh, channel her and <laughs> send it to you. There you go. Enjoy that blessing. Uh, Brodacious Brony, hey Aaron, hope you're doing. Hope you are doing, comma well. Was curious if you have seen Vice Schwartz. It's basically anime versus anime. I run a JoJo deck. P.S. Will we see a SA2 Dark? Sonic Adventure 2. Dark Run. Got it. Um, no. I have not seen... Well, I have seen cards from Weiss Schwarz. Uh, but I don't... I've never played it or anything. But I want to. I want to learn all the card games. That's like... I'm so into it right now. Uh, Daniel Gomez says, Clean. Clean. Funkhauser, 
Yo, what the hell heck is up? These streams and grumps are getting me through crazy times. Thanks for that. Thank you, Funk Hours, and I'm glad. I'm very grateful that we are that we are a positive influence on you. Duffs, I would love to meet you and the whole crew after the BSB tour. I open nothing but Pokemon cards like Hidden Fates slash Darkness Ablaze. Hell yeah. I'm going to open tons of Hidden Fates. I'm going to find that Charizard. Boomer Fierce, thank you for your cameo to my son, little Aaron Rayner. We loved it so much. Yeah, that was so sweet. I was so touched by that. This, this dude... This dude named his kid after me. The fuck? And then hired me to be a cameo to say hello to it. This is how much, how, how, like, that's the coolest thing in the world. His birthday is a few days away, and it's just the best gift. Thank you so much, man. Um, Snarf the Cat. Would love to see a Persona run on GG sometime. That's never happening. Also love seeing you pull cards, bro, Seth. Your goblin energy is the best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, goblin energy? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Laughing Man, not sure if you're a fan of Canadian comedy like Kids in the Hall. Uh, I love Kids in the Hall, but I think you may like Nirvana the Band the Show. Uh, I love Nirvana the Band the Show, so yes, I am a fan of Canadian comedy. Uh, Alexandros Gialellis. 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 How do you always get these crazy polls? Damn! You excited for the new sets? Looks like we're going back to Innistrad. You know, when I first, when I pulled the Urza Saga booster box, I got shit pulls. I mean, I got the Gilded Drake, but, like, I didn't get a guy, I didn't get a Cradle, I didn't get a Sarah Sanctum, I didn't get Yogmoth's Will. Like, it was, that was kind of a bust, to be honest with you. But hopefully this pack, when we get to it, is gonna, it's gonna yield. Three Cradles, that's what I'm hoping for. Gamer JV, will there be a new Office Tour video? I'd love to see the stream set up. Probably not. It is very boring. Um, it is not as exciting as the last one was. But that was by design, um, because the last one was very inefficiently designed, because it was designed to look like a motherfucking Epcot pavilion, and uh, now it looks like an office, which, honestly, everyone seems to like better, uh, because they get work done more better. <laughs> Squiggles! Hey, Aaron, love that you started a channel for your card openings. I wish I could still do Magic IRL, but it's way too hard to keep up with, so I only do MTG Arena nowadays. Good luck on your polls. I already read that one. That was Squiggles. Doodles OW. OMG, Aaron, you should design popular MTG tokens in the RPG style and sell them or give them to channel sponsors. Ah, Aaron, it would be so cool. That would be dope. Uh, Dream R12. Hi, Aaron. Also from the same company as Vice Schwartz, you should check out Cardfight Vanguard. I have seen those, and I've seen those cards go for a lot. So I would love to open packs from that and learn to play that. It's the TCG I'm playing at the moment. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, man. You too. Inner Nanner. One day, I'll best you in Commander. Thanks for the years of wholesome laughs. If you come back to Jersey, we'll piss your pants. Team Waluigi forever. Hell yeah! Can't wait to come back to Jersey, bro. Uh, Squiggles, once again. Oh, yeah, would you ever buy an open WoW TCG boosters back before they made the dreaded Hearthstone digital card game? Would be cool seeing that. Also, that TCG was amazing. Cryptozoic did a good job. I love Cryptozoic. They're a great company. Um, yes, I would love to. I mean, I don't really know much about WoW, but the motherfucking the light turned off. Turn on, damn it! It's back. Uh, Laws, thank you for making this my late night study session less tedious during the Backstreet Boys reunion. I love you, man. I love you too, Laws. All right, I did the reveal. That was the second reveal. Now we're moving on to Double Frickin' Masters VIP Edition. We're gonna open some double masters. First, we're gonna open the one in the box, though, because uh, Susie said that the ones that were already opened are uh, are valuable or whatever. She said that they were special. Does this have any addresses on it? I like how it says no box sale, but I still bought it. <laughs> I was like, give me the box, and they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then, <laughs> and then they were like, oh shit, we were supposed to sell the box. Fuck. All right, here we go, baby. Four fresh VIP booster boxes. Oh, booster packs, I mean, these are, I keep forgetting, these are packs. This is one pack. This is ridiculous. All right, let's fucking, let's just jump into it. Do you get that reference? Do you get it? It's Phil D. Franco. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go in all the way. Why not? Let's open this shit. We got Blight Steel Citadel, Colossus, Blight, Blight, Blight Boy, 
Kalum Columni. So there's a lot of fucking value cards in here. Oh, I haven't even done like the Dawn Glare thing. Hold on. So we're what we're going for here. Let's uh, let's go to the let's go to the glare, baby. Um, what we're going for here is these bad boys. Force of Will, obviously most expensive card. These are the non-foil prices, by the way. So we're going for cameras tripping. What are you talking about? Lag. Is it lagging right now? Is it lagging for everybody? All right. Force of Will's up. Three three fifteen. That's for the non-foil version. We got Mana Crypt, of course. I already pulled that. Uh, Sword of Feast of Famine. Uh, Sword of a Fire and Ice is next. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Avacyn. Doubling Season. Got Chrome Mox. The Colossus. Karn Liberated. Uh, Mox Opal. Cali of the Vast. Hate this fucking card. Wish it would go away forever. Atraxa. Sword of Light and Shadow. Stoneforge Mystic. Thought Seize. So a lot of good cards. A lot of fucking good cards here. Lowest quality is Meddling Mage, which, you know, who wants that shit? All right. Let's open this bad, bad boy. We got to open it twice. We got to take out the cards. And then, well, I got to keep the box so I can cut out the UPC code. Uh, and then mail it in and get a free Double Masters booster pack. What's wrong with Kalia? She's too strong. She's way too strong. Yeah, I gotta admit, the only thing I don't like about being a Magic the Gathering fan is all the packaging. I just... I'm all about, like, you know, recycling and trying to keep, you know, with, especially with, like, Game Grumps, we try to do paper packaging as much as we can. Um, so, that's it. Alright. Here we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the lands out first. There's a bunch of lands. And then we got... Two, here's the foils. Or island and swamp. There are the foils. There you go. Take out the lands. Fuck them. All right, here we go. Revoke existence. Split that dang titan in half. We got fortify. Four to five times a day I fortify. Heft. Isn't this card worth, like, something? Like, a little bit? Shraben Inspector. Ancient Stirrings. That's kind of a hit, right? Ancient Stirrings. Ba-boom, baby! Ancient Stirrings. Throw that over there. Iron Bully. Supernatural Stamina. It's good in modern, not worth anything, though. All right, well, then it's going in the fucking pack. Crushing Vines. Oh, that poor owl. <laughs> that fucking owl is like, oh! Oh shit, dude! Alright. Cachodian. It's perfect for the perfect for the voice I was giving it. Opal case, dear devil. She dark skill kill it all. Sentinel is pro trident. <laughs> He's a sentinel is a pro trident. He's got a stick. Veteran explorer. Cogwork assembler. So shiny. So shiny. Alright, I'll stop doing the voice. Woodland Champion. Hey, Foil Path to Exile. I'll take that. I'll take that all day, every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor fucking Leonin is just like, Bah! I'm being exiled. Rush of knowledge. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. We got... Koldotha Forge Master. I don't even think that's a thing. Five drop, three five. Tap to sack three. Tap and sack three artifacts. Search your library for an artifact card. Put it in the library and then shuffle your library. Eh, it's not all right. Not the best. Send triplets. That's pretty decent. Decent little uh, commander there. Uh, two white, blue, black, three three. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent this turn. That player can't cast spells or activate abilities that play and plays with their hands revealed. You may play lands and cast spells in the player's turn. This is pretty good. This is pretty damn good. Here we go. First one. Blood Moon, baby! We got a Blood Moon! Non-basic lands or mountains. Three drop. Blood Moon! Oh! What do we got on Blood Moon? Is that, uh... Is that super good? Blood Moon is... 20, 29 bucks. And then what do we got after this? Whoop! 
Dark Confidant, baby. Ba ba ba. That one's a little more expensive. That's a 42 bucks. 42 are right there. We got a one and a black. Two one at the beginning of your upkeep. Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card in your hand. You lose life equal to its converted mana cost. Little Dark Confidant, baby. Damn, that's a that is a great card. Very nice. Oh, I should probably sleeve these. Because they're, like, good. And worth a lot. Blood Moon. Let us sleeve the cards. I'll bring the sleeves up here. What am I doing? Putting them down there and reaching, like, a mile down. I do that all the time. I do the thing where, like... And I'm doing it right now! I'm doing it right now! I... I I hold the sleeve in one hand, and then I put the I put in the card with the other hand, right? So l why do I have sleeves on my right side, and then I have to pass it? Like this is what I'm. It, does this make sense? I pick up the card with my left hand, I pick up the sleeve with my right hand, and then I swap them, and then I put the card in. It's like why don't I just put the sleeves on my left side, and the cards on my right? It's fucking ridiculous. I don't understand what's going on in my brain anymore. And there we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, next box. I hate that I have to fucking cut e open each box. Just make them packs. I hope I I, oh, I hope I get Moldoth or whatever the fuck his name is. John Travolta boy. Where am I checking prices? Donglair, which references TCG player. Mid. It references TG, TCG player mid. I can turn it up. I can turn it up to pack fresh, I guess. Probably makes sense, right? Oh, okay, okay. Open this shit. Open this shit. Open! Open! Give me the force of will. I want the force of will, and I want it now. Patrick, why does your mom let you have two force of wills? Uh, all right. Let me just, uh... Lands. I don't care. Here we go. Magnifying glass. Salivating gremlones. Little relic hunter. I, you know, I, I do have a thing for, for cards that are blue and purple. There's just something about the art, blue and purple. It feels so fresh. It feels so crisp, you know? Ikor Wellspring. It's my butt. Cast down. Urza's Power Plant. Nice little mini hit there. Blood Briar. How about the Volshock Gauntlets? I mean, who gives a bunk, right? Sentinel. Ravenous Intrude. Thopter Fendro. A fencing Assay. Esperzoa. That's how I'm trying to be. Look at this dude. You know what he reminds me of? Uh, the Hanar from Mass Effect, you know? This one loves being an artifact creature. This one is scared as fuck of all the lightning coming out of my body. Cranial plating! That's like a mini hit, right? It's like kind of a kind of a mini hit. I'll put that in the mini hit pile. Uh Dranosaro. Definitely me. Death Reap Ritual. Ion Storm. It's a three drop enchantment. You can pay one in a red, remove a 1 1 counter or a charge counter from a permanent you control. Ion Storm deals two damage to any target. I don't know if this is like quality or no. Oh shit, we got a foil Atraxa. Oh fuck! A green, white, blue, and black, 4-4, four, four, flying, vigilance, lifelink, death touch. At the beginning of your end step, proliferate. Atraxa. I'm getting, I'm getting more Atraxa to this card every day. <laughs> All right. Academy Ruins. I don't think that's, I really don't think that's, that's anything. Academy Ruins is 19 bucks. Great. Academy Ruins. That's a, that's a womp womp right there. Sneak attack? What the fuck? Well, that's 24 bucks. Uh, four drop. You can pay red. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Sacrifice the creature at the beginning of the next end step. That's not bad. That That's not bad. That really ain't that bad. I'll take that. 
I might use that, actually. That's really not a bad card. Quite useful indeed, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. Little Academy Ruins, not so great, but it attracts a Praetor's Voice. That's a, that's a really nice card. A really nice card, I see right there. It's a pretty, pretty nice card. We got an Iron Storm, too. Iron Storm? I don't want an Iron Storm. Uh, let me see if I can open this without the scissors. Ah! Uh, fuck it, I'll use my teeth! I don't care! Just rip it open! This is my pack! Ah, oh, there we go. And then rip that open. They're so hard to open, dude. I just wanna... Uh, just give me the cards! Just give me the... Give me the cards! I'm addicted, I need more! Just open the jam pack! Uh, how many? Okay. Whatever, I'll just leave the lands in. I don't, I don't care. Brainstorm! Foil! That's fucking nice! That's a mini hit right there! Taking it, taking it, taking it! Boom. Glint Sleeve Artisan. Very cool. Rapacious Dragon. Dragons love to scream. Lizards love to gently scream. That's all there is to it. Metallic Rebuke. Fighting against Megatron. We got Iron Bully. What a fucking douche. Needs to be expelled. Twisted Abomination. I have no clue. Were they just like... It's Twisted Abomination. I don't know. Make him an abomination and make him twisted. Done. Kozilex Predator. We got Pyrite Spell Bomb. Kaboom, baby. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Where are all the value... Where's Where's all the value in commons? Invigorate. Da -da -da -da. I like to think that she ate the spinach. You know what I'm saying? Sphinx of the Guild Pact, Buried Ruin. Oh, that's like kind of, that's like a really tiny mini hit. I don't know. Pentad Prism, lame. Ash Barons, there we go. There's a little mini hit right there. Valorous Stance, that's also a little mini hit, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Drown in Sorrow. Grand Architect, baby! It's a three drop. One blue, blue. One three. Other blue creatures you control get one one. Uh, you can pay blue, target artifact creature becomes blue until end of turn. The blue's all around, baby. Tap and untap blue creature you control, add blue, then spend blue, and only get blue. And cast artifact blue, and then blue, 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 blue. Oh shit, we got an ensnaring bridge. We got an ensnaring motherfucking bridge, baby. Three drop, creatures with power greater than the number of cards in your hand can't attack. That's a foil ensnaring bridge right there, so don't even get me, don't even get me started on ensnaring bridge right here. This is fantastic. That's a ding, ding, ding right there. Urza's Tower. Bit of a bit of a miss on that one, but uh, that's okay. You can add generic if you control Urza's mind and an Urza's power plant. Add three instead. That's ridiculous. The Tron lands, baby. And <gasps> wow! Oh shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. Gonna sleeve that real quick. Gonna sleeve it real quick. Gonna just go ahead and sleeve the mana crypt. Do 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 do. -do. Gently sleeping the mana crypt. There we fucking go. <laughs> there we fucking go. Oh man. These poles are out of controls. Wow. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I use those. I got like I got like four or five mana crypts now. I'm using them in every fucking commander deck. So good. Oh man. We take a look at that again. Foil Mana Crypt. Woo! Oh, that's sick. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, Mana Crypt reveals three damage to you. You can add two generic. And it costs nothing. It costs fucking nothing! And an Urza's Tower. Look, if 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 there's if there was like a gamut of like lame, I mean maybe a meddling mage would have been perfect. But it's just like Urza's Tower. Mana Crypt. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Very pleased about that. Very pleased. All right. Let's open another one, shall we? This wasn't even the packs that Susie said were ridiculous. These are, these are the fucking... I mean, I guess they haven't really been ridiculous. It's just been the Mana Crypt, but... Holy fuck. Are we getting the Force of Will? Are we getting it? Are we getting the Force of Will? I think we might be getting the Force of Will. It's a pack. Crib swap. <laughs> I'm the baby, gotta love me. Alright. Ah. 
here's the worm, and here's the crib swap. Ha 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 ha. Are you my mama? No, I'm I'm not your mama. I think you're my mama. <laughs> okay, dude. We got a little we got a little cathartic reunion. Beautiful, beautiful card. Fairy Mechanist. Angel of the Down. Bloodbriar. Golem skin gauntlets. You wouldn't want to get punched with that, dude. Dire Fleet Hoarder. Conclave Naturalists. <laughs> Connect to my pea stream. We are now connected. Gleaming Barrier. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Thopter Foundry. Got a Ravenous Intruder. Fencing Ace, of course. Spring Leaf Drum. Man, these, uh, these common and uncommon hits are, are, are not coming. We got a little clone shell over here. Fucking silly ass shapeshifter. This is what happens when I listen to Nickelback. It's like, look at this photograph! Okay, I don't, it's cut off, called off the Flame Fiend. We got Enlarge. And then Pure Steel Paladin. I, I use these. I use this bad boy. You know, not the greatest pull, but I'll use it. Well, well, well. If it isn't the well, oh, I should probably read what it does, huh? Uh, it's two white, two two. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Pretty good. Equipment you control have equipped zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. Fucking cool. Well of ideas. It's a six drop. When Well of Ideas enters the battlefield, draw two cards at the beginning of each other player's draw step. That player draws an additional card at the beginning of your draw step. Draw two additional cards. Speeds up the game a little bit. A little Cyclonic Rift. It's not bad. Cyclonic Rift. Two drop. Return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. And you can overload it to return every non-land permanent. Pretty dope. Another sneak attack. Unfucking believable that's a wah wah pack if ever there was one I mean Cyclonic Rift is what like that's that's actually not that bad Cyclonic Rift is 42 that's like a dark confidant that's it's, it's, it's fine you know it's a Cyclonic Rift I use a Cyclonic Rift I'll use it I don't care I'll do it and then a sneak attack I you know what I'll probably use the sneak attack too it's 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 a decent card it's pretty decent it's pretty decent oh yeah it's pretty freaking dece, if I do say so myself. Put the pure steel paladin in the freaking sleeve. I don't even know what accent that is. All right. That was four booster booster packs down. Now we got four more. These are the ones that Susie said there was a major hit in one of them. Said there was, there was massive energy coming off. So this is very exciting. This is very exciting for me. Susie is the gift that keeps on giving in my life. Relic Hunter. I know that's a good sign because it's a card that I think is pretty right on the top. So uh, that's what's happening. We're going to be opening some cards and we're going to be finding... A Merit Log! Oh, shit! Wait, isn't this like a valuable token? I think I've gotten like two of these already. Maybe I should sleeve. Uh, Relic Hunter. Oh no, there is a third reveal. There's gonna be a third reveal after we're done with the, with the with the packs, and then after Urza Saga is the fourth reveal. So, get it, son. Relic Runner. Crusader of Audric. Just cool, strong girls. Just getting all up in my my cards, man. We got Frogify. We got Cast Down. We got Out of Them. We got Tumble Magnet. This fucking Fidget Spinner over here. We got Defiant Salvager. Just lots of swords. Just too many swords. Ever flowing chalice. Foil. That's a mini hit. I'll take that. Sphinx Summoner. Sentinel of Pearl Trident. How about a little explorer? A culling days. Oh, I've had some culling days in my day, and I don't know. <laughs> Joris Familiar. Flicker Wisp. Galvanic Blast. Gore Clan Rampager. And we got Master of Ethereum right here. A little master of Ethereum. What am I looking at? Uh, oh, I see. That's his face. Boy, he is a he is a hollow man. Uh, what do we got here? 
Star Star, Master of Ethereum's power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts you control. Other artifacts you control get plus, artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Uh, that's pretty dope. That's, that's not a bad. Not a bad. Oh, shit! We got a Sword of Light and Shadow right here. Three drop. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from white and black. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you gain three life, and you may return up to one target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Very not bad. I am okay with that. A-OK -okay with the Sword and Light and Shadow. That is fantastic. Love pulling swords. That's a ding-ding for me, dude. I might throw this into my Knight's deck. Uh, yes, all the cards are foil. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Is it going to be an expedition map? Oh, shit, it's not. It's a fucking Chrome Mox. Okay. Hell, yeah. Gamer, uh, we did it. We did it. We pulled a Chrome Mox. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Goblin Guide, Chrome Mox. Goblin Guide, uh, one drop, 2-2 two -two with haste. When Goblin Guide attacks, defending player reveals the top card of the library if it's a land card that player puts it into their hand. Chrome Mox, zero drop, imprint. When Chrome Mox enters the battlefield, you may exile a non land non blah, 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 from your hand, and then you can add uh, mana from any one of those exiled cards' colors. Ugh, fantastic. Quite pleased about the Chrome Mox. I am definitely going to throw that into a deck. Woo, man, these packs are just like value central, man. Even when you pull, even when you don't pull like what they're worth, it's still like, psh, that's a good card. Fucking sneak attack. I'll use it. I'll fucking use an ever flowing chalice. I'll fucking use a path to exile. Like there's just there's just useful cards in here. All right, so clearly that wasn't like the big hit. Chrome Mox is a pretty good hit. I'd say what is that? Okay, that's a pretty big hit. It's like 70 bucks. But, uh, let's see what else we can get, huh? Uh, let's see what else we can get. Open up this dang VIP. Open up this dang. That's right, Leyanor's mind. Big hit's coming. That's freaking right. Let's open this bad boy. You've been a bad boy. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I hate that. I'm never doing that again. All right, Strength of Arms. Awesome. Orcish Vandal, very cool. Corridor Monitor, doesn't know which way is which. We got Alabaster Salt Bay. We got Supernatural Ouch. We got F Fierce Tree Boy. We got Dark Steel Slashy Axe. We got Driver of the <laughs> Taxi. Skin wing? Gross. Isn't that what you do when you, like, grab your nutsack and pull the skin? <laughs> okay. Veteran Explorer. Vampire Hex Mage with the stuff on her stuff. Culling dies. The Thopter Foundry in every fucking pack. We've got a Thopter Foundry in every fucking pack. All right. Yavi Maya's Embrace. Well, if that's what you call an embrace, maybe we should break up. Ash Barons, little mini hit there. Brimstone Volley. It's just a card. Cogwork Assembler. This motherfucker shows up all the time and I'm like sick of it. Broody Clad, Telcor Engineer. Broody Clad, Telcor Engineer. Four blue, red, four, four. Creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2 1 blue mirror artifact creature token when you then you may choose a token you control if you do each other token you control because a copy of that token. Very nice. Booty clad is more like it. That's what everyone's saying. Booty clad. And we got a dark depths right here. Uh, it's a legendary snowland. Enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it. You pay 3 to remove an ice counter. When dark depths has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. Create Marit Log, a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. Uh, yeah, that's this bad boy right here. Very, very uncool. Nice little, nice little pogger there. Whoop! Oh shit! We got a full art Stoneforge Mystic! That's fucking sick. I needed that. I wanted that. I needed that. That's 52 bucks right there. Stoneforge Mystic, baby. One and a white. One, two. When Stoneforge Mystic enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an equipment card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Can you fucking believe that shit? It's so damn good! Man, it's beautiful. Jesus Christ. This fucking art is so slick. All right, here we go. And another Dark Confidant. 
it looks like there's another half to this card. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks like there should be another card over here. It's like somebody's whistling into his other ear. He's like, well, I want to know both sides. All right. Perfect. Perfect. That's, uh, that's like, basically the value of the pack, right, that I just pulled? I mean, I'm, I just wanted the Stoneford Mystic, so that works out for me. Yeah, we got a Dark Depths. That's a pretty valuable card. I don't know what booty clad's worth, but, uh, sh whatevs, dog. A little, little Dark Depths, I'll throw it in the sleeves, and I'll just keep it safe. And it's a pretty clad. Done. Booty clad is like one to two dollars. All right, two more packs. Are we getting another mana crypt? Are we getting a force of will? Probably. I see it coming. I'm using KMC perfect fits. Just why, why? And let's open this bad boy. We got a copy token, dude. What are you, what are you talking about? A little copy token? It's fucking creepy as hell, dude. I don't want to see that. Get it out of here. Keyboy. Lovely. He's got the rapacious dragon. He's got that gold, and he doesn't want to give it away, dude. I understand. I understand. It's like fucking. You like, I found it. It's mine. I literally thought this was a tiny man. I thought this was a tiny man, and they were, like, looking at the tiny man. That's what I thought. Gaze fiend! Glaze fiend! Ways fiend! It's the fucking squirrel! Bloody-ass, drooling-ass squirrel! This is a squirrel cheddar! We got mere retriever. We got driver of the Uber. We got custodian. How about hinder? It's a nice little card right there. I think that's kind of a mini hit. Is that a mini hit? I don't fucking know. Ravenous, and then we got Throne of Geth. Dude sits on that chair? Dude sits on that chair? Uh, Maybe go to Ikea, dude. Cogwork Assembler. We got a Dread Return. Ooh, another Foil Pad to Exile. I'll take that. I will take that. Let's put that in the mini-hit pile. We got Morkrut Banshee. And here we go, Phyrexian Metamorphe! I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. This is the part of the this is the part of the stream where I start losing my goddamn mind. Phyrexian Metamorph. It's a three and a blue Phyrexian mana. It's a zero zero. You may have Phyrexian metaphor metaphor meta, 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 enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield, except as an artifact in addition to its other types. Uh, a Dees card. And the Send Triplets once again. Very nice. All right, here we go. Full arts. Urza's motherfucking mine. <sighs> Blightsteel Colossus! Oh! I'll take that. I'll take it all day. I don't care. Blightsteel Colossus. 12 drop. 11 11. Trample. Infect. Indestructible. If Blightsteel Colossus would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, reveal Blightsteel Colossus and shuffle it into its owner's library instead. Oh! Motherfucker! Got it. You know I got it. That blight steel, baby. Mmm. Sleeve that bad boy. Oh, so sick. So nasty. So chill. And, you know, we got the Urza's Mine, but whatever. I'm I'm collecting all the cards. I'll, I, yeah, I'll, I'll put an Urza's Mine in a binder or whatever. Fine. Sure. We did it. Haven't pulled a Karn yet, but... I really hope when I put these cards in the in like the binder for like the collecting and stuff, um, I really hope that the four Tron lands, the three Tron lands, the three Tron lands, and Karn all like line up. Four Tron lands, three Tron lands. All right, we got one more. I, I I'm hoping that Blight Steel wasn't the hit because I still have not pulled a Force of Will at all. Not a regular Force of Will. Not a full art Force of Will. I have not pulled it, and I am really really hoping that I can pull it. So let's fucking pull it. This is the last one. Are we getting that Force of Will? Are we getting a dual Force of Will Mana Crypt? I think that's what's happening today. I think that is what's happening. We are pulling a Force of Will and a Mana Crypt. Isn't that two Mythics? I don't think you can pull two Mythics. Let's 
fucking go, baby. Relic Hunter. Crusader of Audric. That was and a braid. What the fuck? I pulled this exact same order in a in a previous pack. And a Frogify! Okay, that was that one's different. I pulled these four exact cards in that order in a previous pack. You do you remember that? It was like three or four packs ago. That's fucking wild. Whisper of the Wilds. Surge Node. Hey, my name's Surge. Surge Node. Hey! Chromatic Star. Nice little mini hit right there. Oval Chase Daredevil. Little Sandstorm Art Oracle. Uh, hate it. That is my nightmare. Weapons Trainer. Olvenwald Mysteries. Who did it? The Mystery of the Dead. Ash Baron's little mini hit right there. Sarah Sphinx. Basalt Monolith. Also a little mini hit. Getting the goods. Ravenous Trap. Okay, fine. Two black, black. If an opponent had three or more cards put into their graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Exile all our cards from the target player. Fine. Magus of the Will. So three drop, two and a black. Three, three. If you pay two and a black and tap, exile Magus of the Will. Until end of turn, you may play lands and cast spells from your graveyard. If a card would be your graveyard, exile a card instead. All right. You ready? Ooh. Ooh, a little exploration. Not bad. Not amazing, but hey, I'll take it. Beautiful art, by the way. Pay one green, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Great fucking card. Great fucking card. But it's certainly not a force of will. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah, expedition map. Sorry, it's a common. That's why I didn't read it. Uh, it's a one drop. You can pay two and tap and sacrifice expedition map, search your library for the land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Real cool. So that concludes our VIP boosters. Still no force of will. I guess the hit that Susie was feeling was that Blightsteel Colossus, because I, I haven't gotten one yet. I, I haven't experienced the Blightsteel Colossus yet. Uh, we didn't get a single full art sword. We didn't get a single fucking Force of Will. We didn't get a single... We got a Stoneforge Mystic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a look at what we got here. These are all the rares, all right? What do we got here? We got the Ravenous Trap, the Magus of the Will. We got the Exploration, Expedition Map, the Metamorph, Send Triplets. Urza's mine, and then pff, boom, right there. Blights the Colossus, beautiful. We got Booty, we got Dark Depths, Stone Forge, and Dark Confidant. We had two Dark Confidants. Goblin Guide, Sword of Light and Shadow, very nice. Very happy about that hit. Uh, Chrome Mox, awesome fucking hit. Okay, we got some good ones. We, we definitely got some good ones. Sneak Attack, Cyclonic Rift is pretty good. Grand Arcanist and Staring Bridge is good. Urza's Tower, we got the fucking Mana Crypt, of course. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ban this guy that keeps saying magic bad. Uh, so that's cool. Um, there we go. Nice. Anyway, Mana Crypt. We got Ion Storm, Atraxa, Sneak Attack, whatever. Send Triplets, Dark Confident, and Blood Moon. We got that Blood Moon. All right. Dope. Here we go. We're good, baby. And we got all these fucking, like, neat little mini hits. Basalt Monolith, Ash Barons, Chromatic Star, Two Paths to Exiles, Everflowing Chalice, Brainstorm. Not bad. Not really bad. Boom, baby. Boom. I'm feeling pretty good about those pulls, you know? Not, like, super amazing. I mean, we did pull that Mana Crypt, but, uh... You know, what can I say, man? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, feeling the good vibes tonight. Ah, yeah, that's a caffeine-free, zero-calorie A&W diet root beer. And I am living it up over here. Living it up. Now, 
Before we get into some super chats and the final little bonus round, and then also the last reveal, I'm so fucking stoked for this. I really, really want to pull a cradle. Uh, we're gonna do a new reveal. Reveal number three, baby. Let's 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 get this Twitter ready and then tweet this out. Now, like I said, they are they are ramping up in coolness. So this one is not the coolest card that I have to reveal, but it is still a nice card. So are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom, baby! It's Taunting Arbor Mage. Yes, that's a two and a green for a two, three elf wizard. It's got a kicker for three, and when Taunting Arbor Mage enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, all creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. That is right. That is right. Give it a little guidance, and you can kill all those creatures with a little death touch, baby. Mm. It's pretty nice, man. It's pretty fucking nice. Mm. A 2-3 Elf Wizard? Now that's, now that's sick. Now that's sick. Looks a little bit like Nyssa, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because Nyssa's an Elf or whatever. Pretty sick as hell. I'm into it. Can I pay the kicker with kisses? <laughs> uh, you know that joke appeals to me. You know that appeals to me a great deal. It's got a it's got a great deal of appeal, baby. Uh, okay, let's move it back here. Oh, thank you for all the subs, man. All these new people subbing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, let's bring it back to my stupid face that nobody likes. Uh, oh my God, there's so many super chats. Thank you so much, everybody. Oof, this is ah okay. Uh, here we go. This is the start. Brandon Rogers, you ever considered playing Dragon's Dogma? Would love to hear the voices you make for some of the characters. Uh, I would love to play Dragon's Dogma. I've been meaning to play it. It's one of my best friend's favorite games. Well, kind of favorite games. Sorry, my eye light came off. There we go. Um, the King, the King Me 321, would you ever be willing to do the art for an MTG card? Uh, yes. That is a, that is, I would love that. And that is also one of Susie's goals as well, so... Well, well uh, hopefully, you know, someday, someday, if I ever get better at painting. James Novak, I need to send you cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. Not now, though. Too many tickets. Love you, man. Too many tickets? You out there breaking the law, dude? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Le Leonor's Mind. Long-time fan, you're a biggest inspiration in my life. I started my own Newgrounds-type website for small creators. Can you give some advice for running a community like that since you worked at Newgrounds? Is Clark still your main in King of Fighters? Ralph was my main in King of Fighters, but I did like to play Clark a lot. Um, yeah, are you still here? Yes, you're, you are, you're just in the chat right there. Uh, some, in, some advice for running a community? Yes, decide exactly what you want that community to be and enforce it very, very strictly, period. Do not have any leeway. If you want it to be a happy community, if you want it to be a community where people share or whatever, like, like figure out your core, like, boom, that's what it is, and enforce that without pun with impunity. Like, it's it'll get away from you if you don't, if you don't structure a community, it will get away from you, and it will turn in, and it will turn toxic, and there will be people there that will make it not fun for everybody there. So, figure out what you want and enforce that. That is so important. Um, that's the best. That's the best advice I have for running a community. I think. Mm. Oh God, these are so good, dude. Here's what you got to do. Stop eating sugar, and then everything is the sweetest fucking thing you've ever tasted in your life. This is diet A&W, and it's, it's, it's like drinking candy. It's so sweet. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Darius Makos. Yo, Aaron, bought a Double Masters box on a whim and got a box topper, Dark Confident, and another in a pack. Thanks for the streams and good vibes, man. Thank you for the good vibes. And thanks for super chatting. Um, 
Janet LaCava, hey Aaron, I wanted to ask if you and Susie heard of Magic Candle Company. They make scented candles that smell like Disneyland attractions and smells. Yes, we have heard of that. I think we bought a couple. I think we bought a Haunted Mansion one, and uh, yeah. I think we've done that. And then I think, did they make one that's like the cinnamon bun smell on Main Street? I think, I think we got that one as well. Misinformed Marty, I'm leaving after the super chat, so don't bother reading it, sexy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, it got read. Uh, Barrett Loof, hi Aaron, I play Pokemon. Do you think I will like magic? Yes, a lot of people consider Pokemon to be magic light. Um, Pokemon is, they're different games, really, uh, but they do have a lot of similarities. I would say Pokemon is a lot easier to play than magic. But Magic has more concrete rules that, like, the game itself plays with. Um, I feel like Pokemon, the Pokemon meta is pretty, like, just get energies on your Pokemon as quickly as possible and do as much damage as possible. But M Magic, I feel like there's a lot more going on in terms of, like, you know, of removal and blah, 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 blah. So, the stack. <laughs> That's right. The stack. Um... Be locked down. Stop getting all the swords. I love the swords. I'll never stop. Uh, Willie Brad. You are the lord of the swords. Get them all, Ego. Thank you, Willie Brad. I will. Someday. Attack of the Dodo. Clap dem booties with booty clad. Hell yeah. Uh, Nixio, thank you. Dan Paz, thank you. Alejandro Gonzalez Lara. Yikes. Pulled both the X's. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, Jolly Good J, some of these tokens are worth more than a bunch of the rares you pulled, but still other good pulls. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I've heard this worm token is pretty valuable. Yeah, um, this worm token that I just, like, found in the garbage, yeah, it's pretty valuable. Taylor Crothers, big fan, Aaron, much love. How does it feel to go from being one of the biggest names on Newgrounds to become one of the biggest names on YouTube? I don't know about that. YouTube's a pretty big pool. Um... I've definitely made a name for myself, but biggest name, that's, I don't know about that. But thank you. That's very sweet. Um, it, it feels great to be able to have a career and not be scared that it's going to explode tomorrow. Uh, Starbombs, thank you so much for making my night more interesting. I should be paying attention to rehearsal for Hamlet, but I'm not. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for being the best, Aaron. Love, uh, Myla. Thank you, Myla. And good, well, break a leg on Hamlet. I almost said the bad one. Uh, John Elliot 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 says no. Thank you, John. Courtney Edmondson. Hey, Aaron, what do you do with all the dupes and commons that you don't want? I have so many worthless cards that I don't know what to do with. Um, there are some services where you can mail in, like, old commons, and they'll send you, like, a booster box. Um, yeah. I, st I started doing some art projects. I made, like, these, like, uh, like, like 3D stars. And you like cut the cards in specific places and then you sort of slot them into each other. And then you make like these big 3D like stars and like spheres and stuff. I started doing that a couple times with old cards. But mostly I just keep them in things. I might, so if I start doing memberships, which I'm going to, I just have to figure out what the perk is. Maybe I'll make that one of the perks is I'll just like sign common cards and maybe throw in a rare here and there and, and just uh, and send those out. Uh-huh. Be locked down. F you. I like your face. Thank you. Do you like it now? Do you like it now that it's really close in red? Tastefully nerd. Pay F to, press F to pay respects. I had a goblin guide and my VIP inside expecting that damn map behind it, but it was a sort of feast of famine instead. Hey! Congratulations. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's one thing to, like, have eight VIP packs and then have, like, a dud and then be like, oh, well, I'll just open the next one. But if you got one VIP pack, and you were like, here we go, and then he pulled that fucking Goblin Guide and Expedition map, I can imagine being real pissed. Uh, Rachel Miller, I only have the most basic knowledge of MTG, but I love watching you open packs. Your energy is 10 out of 10, and the art is glorious. Thank you, Rachel, and I agree with the art one. Cogs and Clockworth, Aaron, you inspired me to hunt masterpieces and buy old packs. The masterpieces were a bust, but I did pull Karn in my second pack of new Phyrexia. Ooh. I would love to open more new Phyrexia. The Pokemon. I love that you are so into magic now. Best TCG ever. That's right, guy I banned. 
Do you think you and Dan will play Pokemon on Ga Grumps again soon? Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Pokemon's a tough one. The old ones were fun because it was just kind of like a journey. Uh, Sunflower, 468. How long since you started Magic? Also, Tendrug. <laughs> I remember Tendrug. It's just like Hundrug. Um, I started playing Magic right before Eldraine. It's like a month before Eldraine. It, I started Magic when the fucking uh, Magic in the Pool episode aired. So I started learning to play Magic because I needed to learn to play Magic to play to do that brand deal. And then I just got hooked. <laughs> Wizards made their money back, I can tell you that. Um, Mooncrab. Hi, Aaron. I'm going to build my own gaming PC. Any advice? Your hair looks fantastic, by the way. Why, thank you. Mm. Mm. Uh... I don't know. I don't know anything about gaming PCs. I just Google. I'm like, what's the best? Whatever. Um, it's like a $25 billion, and I'm like, okay, what's the third best? Whatever. <laughs> uh, that's how I do the PC thing. Squiggles. Aaron, do you have your own Discord community? Uh, yeah, I got to build one. I don't know anything about that, so I got to learn. I got to ask Allie how to do that. Also, Pokemon Meta went stale when EX is made a return in 2011. HGSS block was the last good meta for Pokemon. Fun fact, made top 16 at Pokemon Worlds. Oh, nice. Congratulations. That's great. Um, yeah, I hear there's a lot of upset people about, like, GX and EX, uh, like, basics, um, which I get. You know, it's like, it's all about evolving. Is the autofocus? Like, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a bummer when you get, like, a good evolution card, and you're like, hell yeah, I love this Pokemon, and then they just, like, throw down turn one, like, you know, fucking Darkrai and Arceus and Palkia, 500 HP, one energy, and it does a thousand damage. It's like, oh my god, stop. Um, Rachel Miller, no, your energy is 10 out of 10. You're 10 out of 10. You're breathtaking. That's what they say, right? Ian Jeffries, what are your long term plans for magic? What formats are you interested in, perhaps haven't played yet? Uh, I'd love to play some modern. I haven't played any modern games. I've watched people play modern games before, um, but I don't have a modern deck. So I would love to build a modern deck. I think I probably have enough cards to do so. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd play any format. I've never played Popper. I'd love to play some Popper. That'd be fun. Uh, so anyway, cool. I guess we're moving on to round four. Uh, let's open up this motherfucker. And then we'll do the fourth reveal, and then we'll fucking call it a day. How about that, huh? We'll just, this has been fun, man. It's been chill. This is a good one. Got some really good pulls out of this. Um, I'm going to be sitting here, like, sleeving shit for the next hour after this. So, uh, here we go. Soup. Put this fucking mouse away. Who needs it? From the fires of Shiv to the darkness of Phyrexia, Urza seeks one thing. Vengeance. The power of the planes comes to your game with cycling, echo, and other new concepts. The future of the game begins in the past with Urza Saga. It's a fucking angry dragon, dude. All right. Let's open this shit. What if I just talked like that? from now on. Welcome to my stream, everybody. I am the Shuffle Master. <laughs> Today, we're going to be opening cards like this one, Ravenous Trap, a two, a four drop with, with, and it does things. What's this? <gasps> Pokemon. We're going to be opening some Pokemon boosters. <laughs> okay. All right, let's. All right, just one day I'll just do that. Oh, look at how fucking crisp this shit is. Oh, that's beautiful. God, that's so good. All right, I don't know what order these cards are in. Um, does anybody know what order these cards are in so that I can sort of, like, get the rares later? Oh, look at those Urza Saga lands. Those are awesome. Front to back. Rares in the back. Okay, great. All are rare. Just pull. Oh, this is so fucking sick. This mountain. I don't think I've ever seen the Urza Saga lands. 
Yeah, we got swamp, islands, plains. Beautiful. God, love these. Love these. Look at that island. That's so fucking awesome. Oh, these are so... Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. These are amazing. Oh, yeah, that's totally... That's totally John Avon. Dude, he has a style. You can... You can... You can pick it out right away. Gorgeous. Ah, these are awesome. Oh, I'm definitely using these for a commander deck or something. How many? How many is there? Oh, here we go. Here's some. Oh my! Holy shit! <laughs> right fucking away. Oh come on. Really? Are all the rares together? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, should I? Hold on. Maybe I should... Okay, okay. Here are the rares. Here are the rares. There are three cards that are on their own. So, one of them is obviously Time Spiral. <laughs> and then we got this, this fucking thing. Let's check this out real quick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Look at this. A little rules insert. Got new enchantments. Sleeping enchantments. The Urza Saga expansion features new creatures, artifacts, and spells that add excitement and diversity to your game. Unlike Magic the Gathering expansions, the Urza Saga set is compatible with all Magic cards. Sorry, like. Fucking awesome. Is there any, like, lore back here? Effect duration and... Oh, look at all these numbers you can call to get fucking service or whatever. Wonderful. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Uncommon. Veiled apparition. Little lingering mirage. Where are we going? Where are we going, dude? Goblin cadets. Oh, I was excited because I thought it was a goblin lackey, but it was a goblin cadet. Vile requiem. Fucking beautiful. Retaliation. Is that a, is that a, like a hit? Is that like a mini hit? Each con three drop each creature you control gains whenever a creature blocks it. This creature gets one one until end of turn. That's pretty good. Oh, there it is. There's the goblin lackey. That's value right there. Very nice. Very nice. Also a disgusting. I I hate I hate him. I hate him. Motherfucking Shrek over here. Wow. I'm gonna sleeve that. <laughs> Look at him. He's happy. Diabolic Servitude. I do love this guy. <laughs> I control you now. I have the thing from the tra Terminator 2 where he's like breathing and he's like, hey, hey, hey. I have that. <laughs> Claws of Gix. Sacrifice a permanent, gain one life. Is this one of the cards that's just like a photo? That's pretty cool. I wonder if that still exists. I wonder if somebody has the Claws of Gix. Sp uh, spined fluke. I haven't I haven't sleeved the lackey yet. I'm gonna sleeve the time spiral once I get to all the rares. Waylay, waylay. Man, look at that. Look at that fucking the like gray against the. It makes it look blue. Isn't that dope? Fucking cool. All right, and these are all commons. <laughs> Cackling fiend. Angelic page. Love Rebecca Gay. Such good art. Talarian wins. Discard your hand, then draw that many cards. That's a that's that's kind of a value card, right? That's like a like a like a pretty decent hit. Hell yeah! Let's put that aside. Be foul! Don't fart in my general direction. Silent attendant, another Rebecca Gay, beautiful. Why doesn't she do art anymore? Why is she retired? Gorilla warrior. He's a summon ape. Look at this fucking di Look at him! The gorilla beats its chest and threw great handfuls of leaves into the air. It howled challenge and showed its teeth. The mechanical soldier, not understanding, simply killed it. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what an asshole! Jesus. Alright. Dark Ritual. Hey, this one's, this one's worth a lot, isn't it? Dark Ritual? That's like a, that's like a major hit. All right. Nice. 
Okay, it's 51 cents. Never mind. Fine. Uh, monk realist. He's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a realist. Guess you don't listen to me. Cycle land. Cool. Sinned. Oh my god! It's fucking... It's fucking Barry, dude! No, it's... Le no, le yeah, it's Barry! Viachino Outrider! It's our boy! Wait, where is he? Here's Larry, and there's Barry, his best friend. Oh, look at them. Together they are strong. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Treetop Rangers, we got a falter. We got despondency. Oh, he doesn't give a shit, dude. He's like done with that. Brilliant Halo. Veil of Birds. Elvis Lyrist. Are we going to get the Titania? This card fucking rules. Are you kidding me? Hidden Spider. Oh, no. Not the Shower of Sparks. My raptors can handle the sparks. <laughs> the fucking raptors like, Fucking do something! <laughs> All right, Breach. Rune of Protection. Her Hermetic Study. This disgusting card. Congregate. Arsidian. Gross. Summon insect. No, that's summon my nightmares. It sickens me is what it does. We got Rune of Protection. We got the Pendrel ripped ass Drake. Skittering Scourge. Wizard Mentor. And Path of... We didn't even get a Titania, dude. Unbelievable. All right, here come the rares. You ready? We got that time spiral. It's a fucking six drop. Remove time spiral from the game. Each player shuffles his or her graveyard and hand into his or her library, then draws seven cards, untap up to six lands. That's a game ender right there. It's a fucking game ender. Greener pastures. I don't think that's I don't think that's worth anything. Uh, three drop. Enchantment. During each player's upkeep, if that player controls more lands than any other, the player puts sapling token into play under his or her control. Treat this token as a 1-1 green creature. That is fun. All right, here we go. Soul Sculptor. That is not a fucking Sarah Sanctum. That is not a Cradle. That is not a goddamn Yawgmoth's Will. That is not a Gilded Drake. That is not a Telerian Academy. It's a fucking Soul Sculptor. It's a 3-drop, 1-1. One, one. You can pay two and tap. Target creature becomes an enchantment and loses all abilities until a player successfully casts a creature spell. Fine. At least I got the time spiral, man. I, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not not displeased with that. I, I pulled a fucking time spiral, and that's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. I would love to see if I can save up to get a tournament pack uh, box. That would be really fun. Because I had so much... Even though that Urza Saga box was kind of a bust, the last one we did, like, these tournament packs are really fun to open. I'm not going to lie. All right. So that's all of our cards. And plus, I got some fucking sick Urza lands out of these. These got to be worth something, right? Like, at least, like, 50 cents a pop or something. Pretty sick. All right. You ready for this? Got this little tournament pack. I love it. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, Jelly. <laughs> Can we see that Lightning Island one more time? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. This is sick. Look at that. It's so fucking cool. Wow. All right. <clears throat> I am very excited about this last card. It is a rare. I can say I can tell you that. Um, I mean, here we fucking go. You ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> but you, it's Arc Priest of Iona. He's a human cleric. He's a one-drop white. With star and two, Archpriest of Iona's power is equal to the number of creatures in your party. That's right. 
a one drop potential four two. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party target creature, it gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying until end of turn. That's fucking vicious, dude. A one drop with so much value. Unreal. Very excited about this card. Extremely excited. Now, for those of you who are really keen on the on, on waiting for me to tweet, you might notice I haven't tweeted about it yet, and that's because this motherfucking card has a full art version. Kaboom, baby! That's right. Archpriest of Iona, full art, or extended art, or whatever the fuck it's called. Hell yeah. By Denman Rook. Mmm. It's a pretty, pretty valuable card for a one-drop white. Like, what the hell? That's so much value. I have a feeling this card is going to be, like... I have a feeling this card is going to be, at least in drafts, is going to be, like, mad, mad excited. And, you know, now that they've released the, um... They've talked about what the party mechanic is, I have a feeling that that's going to be pretty integral to the, um... To not only the draft experience, but uh, the uh, what do they call them? The set boosters. There's, I mean, they're uh, clearly they're going to be like these uh, party members go together really well and like that kind of thing. So, can you make a four two by turn two? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, if there are one drops for each type. You could at least make a 3-2 by turn 2 with uh, with 3 mana. That's I mean, that's not bad. A 1-drop changeling. There is a 1-drop changeling. It's a, it's a Modern Horizons card. Um, changeling Outcast. You could, you could throw down a Changeling Outcast and... Uh, and uh, to make it be everything. It's fucking dope. Anyway, those are all my cards, man. Those are all my reveals. I put them out on Twitter. Uh, so if you want to retweet them, or you want to, I don't know, save them, save the images for posterity or something, they're there. Uh, and uh, do I have any like bonus content? I'm still sort of moving everything into this uh, space, so I don't have everything. Excuse me. Set aside. Um, or brought here. Usually I have like a bunch of extra boosters. Let's just open a Pokemon booster. Fuck it. Rubble Clash. <laughs> Why not? Uh. What do we got? Barboach? Wait, hold on. Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Here you go. Take it. Eat it. Love it. Kiss it. Uh, one, two, three. Blue. <sighs> Gives a funk. Burning Scarf. Indeedy! Skyla. Barboach. Man, that is a happy fucking fish. Stuffle. I'm gonna stuff you full of value because of these cards, baby. Durant. And what do we got here? Foil Chandelure. I can't believe I got a white card for that. Ridiculous. Waste of my damn time as far as I'm concerned. But I'll sleeve it anyway. Because that's what a rare does. Done. Chandelure sleeved. And this Durant is just a fucking uncommon, so I'll just give it the I'll give it the penny sleeve treatment. Just drop that, just plop it in. <laughs> Durant. Done. Alright. How about two more Rebel Clash boosters? How about that? Ah! I don't have any Darkness of Blaze boosters to spare, so... No du no ducklet today. Here you go. Enjoy that. Have fun. Have fun, you kids. Uh... Green? Oh, shit! Oh, yeah! That's fucking hot right there. That's hot as hell, dude. Metacham, beware. Speed energy. Gonna get out there speed, dude. Oh, look at that shrubbish. I love that illustration. That is so cute. Oh, he's so sad, too. Well, I kind of don't like that part. 
Hilaptil, Voltorb. We got a full heal. And what do we got here? Nine tails. Womp womp. Nobody cares about nine tails. Again, again. I want to open another booster. Okay, man. <laughs> Calm down. You're really freaking me out. <laughs> Please. Two, two red cards. All right, one more. Ah. Ah. You ready? Boom. Done. LBC. Little bit curious of what I'm going to pull. One, two, three. Purple. Oh, fucking. It's kind of the opposite of purple, right? Shuckle! Look at this motherfucker! He's so cute! He's like, what's going on over there? Fucking berry picking? That's what I wish I was doing. Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Dan. Some fucking guy named Dan. Twin energy. There's a Wingle. There's a Bronzor. And Toxel. And Foil Bunnelby. Oh, shit! We got a Phalanx V. How do you like that? There we go. That's a great thing to go out on. We got a Phalanx. I don't even know what the fuck a Phalanx is. What the hell's a Phalanx? No idea. Iron defense formation. Fucking one, 160 power, strength, speed, agility. Where, where are my fucking perfect fits? There's over more. I ran out. I have to open up a new pack just to sleeve one card. What am I doing with my life, man? Oh, no. I have to sleeve a bunch of cards after this, don't I? Because I went through all those Ikoria boosters and didn't sleeve anything. All right, cool. Phalanx. Done. Easy. Sleeve that bad boy. Here we go. Nice little nice little fighting Pokemon right there. Hey! This has been super fun! I revealed four Zendikar uh, Rising cards today. And uh, we opened up a lot of awesome cards. We got a Mana Crypt. We got a fucking Time Spiral from an actual Urza Saga pack. We got a Chrome Mox. Sort of uh, that one that we pulled as a sword of some kind. We got all these rares, dude. Look at this. Look at these, look at these rares. It's just so many rares. We got a fucking... Oh, dude. We pulled a soul sculptor. Pretty damn good. Pulled a Blightsteel Colossus that Susie called. She called it, dude. Sword of Light and Shadow. That's what it was. Cyclonic Rift. Man, we did well today. We did well. It was all because of you. And a lot of Susie's magic as well. She, she helped quite a bit. But thanks for joining me, everyone. Oh, there's, what am I doing? I'm fucking leaving when there's like 13 super chats, like just waiting to be called out. I'm such a, I'm such a fool! What have I done? Uh, we can close this window, and here we go. What? Wait a second. Oh, did I lose a bunch? Oh, I lost a bunch. What the hell? Uh, misinformed Marty, I started playing Magic during Revised. Can't believe what some of the cards have become worth. Dark Ritual and Lightning Bolts used to cost a nickel. Yeah, dude, our, Dan has two Gaia's Cradles. He has two Gaia's Cradles. And he said he paid $3 for one of them. <laughs> uh, Drunk Zerker Faints, have you heard of the new TCG Flesh and Blood? I think you would love the art. I have heard of it. Somebody mentioned it earlier, and I would really love to check it out. Can you turn on damn motion sensor? Can you turn on... Give me the highlight. Give me my highlight back. Hey, rude ass motion sensor. Here we go. Fucking turning my lights off and shit. Uh, Dolores Gonzalez. Hey, can you make Dan play Brutal Legend, whether in the show or not? I don't care. He just needs to play it. Yeah, that's it's pretty up his alley, I'd say. Uh, Zemi. Hey, Aaron, do you think you'll ever play Mega Man Legends 1 or 2 on the channel? Uh, I don't know, man. I was never, I never really got into Mega Man Legends. I, I, I keep trying, and I just, it just doesn't grab me, so I, I really gotta, really just gotta, like, sit hunker down and, and play it. Uh, Roger the Shrubber. Hi, Aaron, do you play EDH? I do. If so, what's your favorite deck? I use a Sir Gwyn deck. Uh, Knights and Equipment. If not, have you considered who your first commander might be, if that interests you? Um, Sir Gwyn. I want to make 
I want to make like silly decks. I would love to make some silly decks. I do want to make like a blue red artifact deck. Um, some about artifacts that I really like. Oh man. All right. Tyus, I'm late to the party, but do you have or will you have a commander deck? I do have a commander deck. It is a Sir Gwyn deck, a Knight's Equipment deck. Uh, Space Lincoln, hey Aaron, just found your MTG content and can't get enough. Any thoughts on opening any Unstable? I would love to. I would love to see on stream Rock On Shuffle Master. Thanks, bud. Yeah, it's like Unstable is like the one card, right? Like there's the one card. It's like a foil Steam Flogger boss, I think. Or is it one of the... Yes, Foil Steam Flogger Boss is like a hundred and something dollars. It's like super rare because they printed on the, the land foils. So like it's like all foil lands, which are already really rare, and then one Steam Flogger Boss on each sheet when they that's what I was told. Um Macho King Matt! Macho King! The Macho King! Yo, seeing you tweet about playing EDH made we we start trying to make a deck. Currently trying to build around Torbrand as the commander. Oh yeah, that that's a pretty decent commander. Um, good to see you, man. I'm glad you're here. Talahav! Hey Aaron, how are you, you? I love Ta Talahav. I'm always so happy to see you because every time you you give me a super chat, you're just like, hey man. It's like, what's up? Thanks for coming. Uh, Malfazar, ever play Paradox Billiards, Vostroyan Roulette, Fourth Dimensional Hypercube Chess Strip Poker? Uh, I have. I wasn't very good at it. I lost a bunch of money. Squiggles, Dan needs a collection of Dan cards now. Oh, just like cards of the Dan character from Pokemon? Hell yeah. Dragon Master 03073, is there a way to send you boxes to open? Yeah, you can send them to the P.O. Box. Um, it's in the About page on the Shuffle Master. Um... You don't have to. I'm not asking people to send me boxes, but if you if you are so compelled to send me boxes, I I will open them on stream. Um, it's always great to have boxes in the wings to to open stuff on stream. Uh, John Paul Kular, yo Aaron, you still studying Japanese? Uh, not currently, but I f I have a feeling this is the time because it's probably going to be a long time since I go to Japan, so I might as well just get get it going early. Um, I started during quarantine and recently got done memorizing the kanji thanks to a book that was recommended to me. What's that book? I would like to know. Uh, Willie Brad, once again, Radstream Eagle and Pump for Zendikar. Much love. Much love to you too, Willie Brad. Thanks for coming by all the time. Pink Carnage, welcome back. You pumped for the return to Innistrad next fall? Fuck yeah! Innistrad is such a fucking great plane. Innistrad rules! Hunter Moffat. Fibble Thip the Lost and Nor and the Wary are both really great silly decks. Oh, that's that's fun. Nor and the Wary I've heard of. That's because he's like a one drop red, right? And he has some kind of thing where he like brings things back or he, something about haste. It, it sounds silly. Shadow of Nocturne, join me in the world of tribal travel EDH. I can share a list. I I do have a tribal deck. It is a knight's deck. Um, and I do love doing tribal stuff. Octopimp wanted to make an ooze deck. That I'm very excited to see because Ooze is just very upsetting. Uh, Cayman Astartes just found this channel. Where should a guy who's never played Magic start at? You should play Magic the Gathering Arena. It's got a great tutorial and it's free. Uh, does an online mobile version of the Magic card game work for beginners? Uh, yes. Well, so Magic Arena isn't mobile yet. Uh, it's a PC game. You play it. No, you don't play it through Steam. You just download it off the website. But it's free. Um... What you can do, and I have been doing this, and it's the coolest thing in the world, and I didn't, I didn't realize how easy it would work, is you can assign Arena to Steam. So you can, you can tell Steam, like, this is a game, so run it through Steam. And then you can use, uh, what the fuck is it called? It's called, like, Stream, uh, what the fuck is it called? Streamlink. So you can put Streamlink on like your iPad and it will remotely run the game on a PC and then stream it to your iPad. And it's like, it's near flawless, especially when you're in the same house. I don't, I don't actually don't know if you can play it outside of your Wi-Fi network. Um, 
but I just wanted to play Magic in bed, uh, and I always had to bring my laptop up, and it gets all hot, and I have to like plug it in, and there's like a mouse, and it's like this sucks. But if you just run Streamlink on your iPad, you just have it all the right there, and it just works. It's fucking incredible. Uh, so I would recommend that if you want to play it on mobile, and you have like a like a dedicated gaming PC at home, um, you can just leave it on and then play it remotely. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, Kelly Walsh, what type of deck are you working on right now or soon? Um, what kind of deck am I working on right now? I want to make an enchantment EDH deck and um, just something to use all these like fucky cards that I've been getting, like like time spirals. A fucking like I want to use that. So I, I'm trying to build decks where I can use all my fucky weird cards. Uh, Dream R12. Some time ago, I was at my local card store and a kid found my debit card. I bought him one Poke Booster to thank him, and he got Ultra Necrozma GX. <laughs> Good karma. That's great. That, I like I like that story a lot. It's a little little uh, pay it forward. Uh, Snarf the cat. Aaron, have you checked out Brea Ethereum Shaper? It's not just blue red, but she can be real fun with artifacts. Uh, yes, I have considered her. Um, she is a great card. Malfazar, yeah, Parsec. Yes, Parsec is fucking awesome. Um, I really love using Parsec. We use it for grumps. Uh, Malfazar, next time you are in Japan, go to Big Bang Yamato late night go kart racing. Used to go there all the time would be a great The Grumps episode. That's awesome. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for that suggestion. Jameson Landry, please show feet. Um, not on your life. Uh, came in a start taste once again. Okay, thanks for the info. I'll give it a go. Hell yeah. All right. Um, I've got some food waiting for me in the fridge, so I'm going to sign off. I say this every time, but thank you all so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I look forward to these every week. I'm starting to sort of roll into doing them like twice a week because um, I feel like I should probably do some more Pokemon stuff and then try to find time to do like Yu-Gi-Oh! and like random stuff that I don't even know what they are. Um, so this was, I mean, this was unbelievably fun. It's always fun for me, and I really appreciate that everyone comes out and watches. It's 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 so it's so awesome to see that it's like it's like growing and like more people are showing up and watching, and it's just such a fucking honor. So thank you for being a part of this. Um, I really appreciate it, and thank you to everyone who's been doing super chats and everything. Um, hopefully, I'll have membership soon, uh, so that you'll be able to use some emotes. I'm going to make some, uh, I've already made a scred emote, a gently screaming lizard emote, uh, a, like a ding 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 emote, a hit emote, um, and then I'm going to keep, I'm going to make like a Susie Bless emote and like uh, stuff like that. And if you have any more suggestions on emotes to, to do, I, I would love to because they're so easy to make. And the more members that we get, uh, the more emotes I can put in. So like, you know, if, if we reach like, I don't know, like 100 members or something, then I can have like... 20 emotes or something so I would love to uh, make more emotes a ducklet yes I made a ducklet emote that was the one I was missing I made an absolute ducklet emote and then I want to I want to make so I made like a single ducklet emote and then I want to make a ducklet emote that you can cascade so <laughs> so you can just like have a whole fucking thing of ducklets mm. oh Larry that's a good one see what I'm, oh, and I made a tragic slip emote too so what I'm trying to do is like um, make the emotes like like double or, or the emotes have sort of two functions, right? Like Scred is a meme, right? But also the whole thing about Scred getting his butt sucked. So I drew his face like he's like he's like really enjoying it. So like you can use it for that emotion as well. So it's like you can use it as like a Scred emote just on its own, but you can also use it as like it's like a, oh that was so good like that kind of and the same thing with Tragic Slip. So Tragic Slip, his face is kind of like, oh, shit. So, like, I really accentuated that he's like, oh, shit. And so, like, you can use that for, like, a whoa, like, emote. So that's what I'm trying to do with the emotes. Ducklet's kind of got a fucking blank face, so I don't know how you'd use that one. But mm. Oh, I didn't see the book recommendation for the kanji. What was it? Uh, I'm assuming it wasn't super chatted. Uh, I'll read some super chats in the meantime. Kakashi, love all that you do, and have you heard of a mythic red called Malignus? I haven't, but I'll check that out. Science, 
Thank you. Hey, Aaron, I shipped those commander decks I mentioned the other week. Did you get them? Oh, shit. Um, I'll tell whoever's getting the mail next to keep an eye out for those. Um, it was Super Chat. Oh, shit. Um, I did not see it. Let me just make sure I didn't miss it. I must have missed it. I definitely missed it. Anyway, uh, next stream is Friday. Um, I think, yes, it's Friday. Uh, I'm going to be opening Pokemon cards. Uh... I'm not sure what sets it. Unbroken Bonds. It's on my phone. I'm going to be opening Unbroken Bonds and... And... Burning Shadows. So, Friday. Unbroken Bonds, Burning Shadows, Pokemon. Hype as fuck. I can actually tell you the exact time that I'm going to start. Um, because I've been I put I'm putting them in my calendar now. Uh, okay, it's probably gonna be around four. Probably gonna be around four. So Soviet Jump Game stream at two thirty on Game Grumps on Friday, and then at four, uh, I'm gonna start the uh, the Pokemon stream. So there we go. Remembering the Kanji. I actually have that book. So great. I'll take another look at it. <laughs> uh, cool. Thank you, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. This is always so much fun. I'm going to fucking sleeve the shit out of these cards now. Uh, and then I'm going to go home and eat. So have a good one. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah! I wish I hit the stop streaming button right when I did that. Okay, here we go. Mwah!